<laughs> My big dog, we back, man. Hey, Stu is on point. Stu is on point today. My dog on point. OP in the building. Jay in the building. The big homie in the building. We ain't even taking no break right now. We're going to get right to it, man. LSU, FSU, LSU coming off. Um, I, I guess the disappointing loss, right? It's disappointing because we lost. Yeah. Anytime you lose, it's disappointing. Right. Uh, you know, it's just breaking it down now. Yeah, disappointing loss. Um, I think we saw some things from some players. Um, quarterback position, of course, myself, Kev, running back. Um, J- I- I'm going to start. Jaden Daniels, he got the start. Mm-hmm. Right, he got the start. We all thought he was gonna get the start. Right, right. Um, what, what, what you think, Stu? How, how, how? What you? What, what's your, what was your first impression with Jaden Daniels? Early, I was kind of. I mean, I'm not gonna say I was down, but it was like, all right, like I seen some of the reads that he was missing, mm-hmm. but then he was making up for it with his feet. Right, right. So right. you kind of saw like the running aspect of it early, but right. then late you got the. Both really, because he, he, got a he little ran bit. and he threw. He he got a little he, bit. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, at first I was kind of like, man, Nuss might y'all might want to start warming Nuss up real quick. Right. But then he kind of got comfortable in the game. He started making some of those intermediate throws like we talked about last weekend, mm-hmm. and then he got comfortable with the game plan that they had for him, which. The game plan. I, that's a lot I, to be desired. That's what right? I had more right. of a problem with there, Jaden Daniels. I, I think it had it left a lot to be desired, right? It did for me. I, you know, I, the quarterback position and these coaches. I've been reserving myself, trying to see them play for the first time. And honestly, man, you know, I, I think the kid played fine. You know what I mean? I think he played. Uh, Definitely well enough to win the football game. No so a lot with his legs. Right. right. No turnovers. Definitely. Number one thing, no turnovers. hundred percent. And and that's part of why I give him a lot of credit. Took good care of the football. Um, and, you know, I was critical of him with the usage, you know, of just the running, the running, the running. Not a lot of design runs, though. Not a, Well, true. It was a lot of true. scrambles. True. And I think that's also part of the – we're not too far in the playbook yet, mm-hmm. and I'm comfortable with this one read now, and now using my legs or what I naturally know to go to to either create a play. Now, I'm gonna tell you the thing I didn't like about what he did was when he escaped a lot, his head was down. Yeah, he looked at the rush a lot, and that's and you know that's also offense line and give him a lot of confidence to <clears> sit <throat> in there and go to the second guy. But that's one aspect of it that I would like to see him progress from. But if I had to give him an overall grade for this game, I'd give him a B minus. Yeah, probably about a B minus. What you think, K? I think the analysts hit it perfectly. Like the guys that really know Jaden, that covered him in the Pac-12 and everything, Mm -hmm. um, that he's a really athletic quarterback. Um, When he sets his feet, he's pretty good. Pretty good at throwing the ball, but it's when his feet is not set. Yeah. Uh, It's when the inaccuracy comes. It's when he's pitter paddling. Yeah. Um, Feet not set. Um, I'm ready to run. I'm ready to take off. And like you, you just mentioned about head being down, looking at the rush. Um, but at the same time, rush was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Pressure was there. Yeah. Um, and he had to get away a few times. Um, you would like him to, like you say, have his head up. But at the same time, he did a lot of good things with his feet. But we all know that that can't happen all the time in SEC play. Um, with him scrambling and – you know, running around like that. No. Well, that's my point about <clears throat> why I say him running. You got to, you know, I was always taught in all the quarterback. You know this. You played quarterback in high school. Most of your big plays come off of broken plays. They come off of not being designed, as you pointed out, not designed runs yeah, that he right. was running. Those are when you get your big plays, your crossing routes, things mm-hmm. of that nature. But in order for you to see that, your head got to be up. Right. Because they don't happen, you know, just suddenly. You got to see the whole development. You have the scramble drills. You right. see the whole development of guys coming back, going forward, whatever it may be. But I think the kid uh, uh, showed a lot of toughness, man, and um, um, played tough. I think he played tough. Yeah. I think he played I, I tough. I think it's a credit to, like, the weight he gains. You know, yeah, I, I know they talked about he gained some weight over the offseason. 
to be able to play in the SEC and it, it showed. Yeah, um, he was taking but, some hits. Yeah, but you know, that's, it take consistency now. It's at that, that time, but you don't want your quarterback taking that many hits a game. No, nah, it's you know? not. I mean, Kev, you said it just a second ago. It's not. It's not going to last. You're not going to last. It's a reason why backup quarterbacks are popular. And I remember when I was playing cats. When I first came in in this thing, and you know, it was a lot more physical back then to right, me because guys right. were a lot bigger. Just in stoutness, they were bigger. Everything is going now the more small, condensed, athletic. fast. Yeah, 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 fast and athletic. Yeah. <clears throat> and I remember when I first came in, and I was about 230. And I was like, they was telling me to lose weight. And I'm like, shit, I'm not losing no weight. I want to lose weight on purpose. Because once I got hit by one, I felt it. You know what I mean? Like, I right, felt that right, shit the right. next day, dog. So I'm like, I'm not about to get down. I'm about to get go, go up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so for him, I could just imagine – what that feels like the next day being 210 or whatever right, it may be. Right, right. You know, so, but hats off to him. He just got to learn when to get down. That's mm -hmm. all. Get down a little bit. There's things he can do to get it. But the one thing, man, I, and you let me know, I, and I say it about the offense, man, left a lot to be desired as far as, like, we, we never really took any shots. We not, and I don't know if that was because, you know, we felt like the line couldn't hold up. So now can we move the pocket and get him to, you know, not just satin in that what we call that home run spot. Remember when we was in New England, they used to always try to get Tom off that spot. Right, right. So that spot right behind that center changed the launch point for, for him, whether it's now outside the tackle, inside the tackle. We hinge blocking backside and give him an opportunity to throw some crossing routes that gets downfield or whatever it may be. But there was nothing of that, and I don't know if it was because we just couldn't get in a rhythm with it that we had you know young guys on the offensive line but i would have liked to seen a, and now you know we dropped a couple too now we dropped a couple things we dropped a couple quick screens that i thought was going to be out the gate a couple times right right um so i don't know if the coaches was, was you know also more reluctant to dial them up well the number one thing is that was their first game too yeah the coaches yeah uh coaching right the game um with the expectations of the team or the guys they're coaching Hey, the expectations are high here. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> they just finding out. <laughs> well, hey. They just finding out you lose that game. You heard BK in that press conference. He had a whole you, you got that thing with BK in the press conference with the oh. little girl with the with the girl that came in like three minutes late yeah. and he talking about she owe him ten dollars. That's what she said. She oh, yeah. Yeah, and he said if, and she said if you win, I pay you your ten dollars. Yeah, she said if you win, I'll be if on you time. Win, I'll be on time. That's what she said. That was fun. Hey, but listen, dog, you know how much different that would have went if that was Coach Saban? Out. Never a lot back. So I take my hat off to BK, dog, actually, for the coolness and the. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right. you know, the contrary where he unhandled that situation um, and, and laughed it off. Because the first thing, everybody was talking about how it was. The first thing <laughs> I thought about was what if that was another coach? That was oh, yeah, she, was she probably wouldn't have said it. True. She probably wouldn't have said it. Yeah. Because BK right. jokes a lot in his press conferences. Like, he'll always, like, You're right. He probably wouldn't something. have said it. She probably wouldn't have said it. It wouldn't even right. have been a thought. Oh, You're exactly okay, right. Okay, okay. She wouldn't have said it. Okay. She wouldn't have said it. If that was Coach Saban, hey, you ain't true. even thinking that. People only do things they think they can get away with. 100%. That's what you are right about, my friend. That's what you are right about. So you look, let, try, let, you can't try. Run, run the film. We we gonna run into this film right now, man. And, 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 and um, go ahead and break this little game down. The atmosphere is wonderful. I was in the building. The atmosphere yeah. is wonderful. It was a wonderful atmosphere. Wonderful oh, atmosphere. Shout out to the Caesar Superdome, man. Wonderful. Both sides too. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wonderful. Both, both sides was very. Start the game with a with a kick out of bounds. Yeah, that, that was terrible. That was a start the game with too. a kick. Now. This is it right now. This is what you see from five right here, baby. And this is what you love to see. Now, boom, 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 you get the yards, get out of bounds, beautiful. No problem, like you say, one of those way, broken play, yeah. one read. But, you know, even on that play, it, it wasn't really a massive rush. Mm -mm. You can slide, sit, then get out. So that's where we got to get to it, that when Kev, like you pointing out, you know, that's your man Why right did we get Kev. away from doing stuff like that? That's your man right there. The little quick hitters, 
little quick hit and just hand it to him. Yes. Uh, in the in the gap. Because, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, this was something that was working consistently, especially early. And especially when they was going to the tempo. When they went to the tempo, everything was out the gate. See, now in an instance like that, you, he always tell you when you wrapped up, this is what they call Kev, know when the journey's over. Now, I was about to say, do you get rid of that earlier than that? Yeah, yeah. You want to get rid so of you that don't, earlier. So you don't get wrapped up and get tangled up? A hundred percent. like he had. That's why, you know, he, that's all the fun. It looked like he, see, go, he probably. Go back to it. Go he back had to it. right here. Listen. But, I mean, I don't, it looked like he was running a different route. Than On which he, one? What Jaden Daniels expected right here. So he went inside and then he tried to work his way back outside. Well, he didn't, he didn't throw it. Go back. He didn't throw it back outside because that linebacker was sitting outside. Right, right. But it looked, Kayshawn right here. Right here, yeah. Kayshawn right here should feel that guy breaking off, mm -hmm. meaning zone coverage. Right. He should know he's not no longer coming with him. Right. Right? He's no longer attached to his hip. Uh, hold on, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got my mouse pointer, dog. Right? Hold on, I can't get it. Don't show me. Anyway, look. <laughs> Him coming across. <laughs> it don't show on a thing. It's all right. Nah, it's still no shit. You got to shoot at the camera. It's not going to uh, show up. That's all right. Uh, but look, Kayshawn coming across, he's supposed to feel. <laughs> he was trying, boy. Yeah, he was I was trying. trying. I was going to tell you to bring your. But he trying to come across. So Kayshawn's supposed to feel him. Now, yeah. dog, what this is right here, honestly, is reps. This is reps. Yeah. This is these guys working together. This is what we talking about staying after practice. This is what we talking about knowing. Because right now, hey, if this is Joe Burrow and, and Jamar Chase or Jefferson right here, he knows immediately, I feel this defensive back now detaching from me. He's mm -hmm. no longer running with me. It's zone covered. I'm sitting right there getting the ball. Right. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking forward. I'm sitting right there getting the ball. Am I right, Kev? Right, yeah. definitely. He and said, he so, and so look, when, once this play, you see, I honestly think that Jaden Daniels sees that outside defender breaking down. Kayshawn is deciding to go outside, and he sees him. You see it right there? Mm -hmm. 13 is outside of Kayshawn. Now he's deciding to break back out. Jaden Daniels sees that. That's why he don't throw the ball to him. Yeah. Now, if Kayshawn, now what he should have did was immediately, once he's coming in, just throw him so, inside. Yeah. Yeah. Just throw him inside. Release it early. Yeah, exactly. And that's what, that's reps, though. That's reps. That's them getting to know each other. You know, I was all right with the field goal kicker at the first one. Great defense here. Listen, I, you know, I think the defense, you know, for the most part, they had some breakdowns. Uh, I think once that boy Mason went out, you know, things got a little bit interesting. I, I think we play a little bit too much zone. We got we to play – that's too much, it. too much. Like this was a like without it looked like a, a match. Rush. A, it yeah, looked like a matchup a zone without a rush that guys can beat guys one on one. Right. So see, you got you see Gardner looked like he was in man, but then he dropped. Well, and then he, you got he, well, linebackers not even getting dealt. And the other thing you got to take into consideration that also could be Gardner getting it wrong. True. You know what I mean. But it did. It looked but like everybody see else what was everybody in else zone. doing. Yeah, that's the same play. The thing I would like to see because it's so much, we have so much talent on that D line. Um, you know, they letting the guys go and they're they're. I don't like I said, it's the first game and we are. I would like to see a little bit more movement on the um, defensive line. Mm. Now, you know, any, now any, I was about to say, now that is disappointing. First and twenty. Yeah. We let the quarterback run for 20 yards. I mean, you're just losing leverage, Kev. That's just you know? crazy. Yeah. Not even running it, it's, no, nah, just, but, it, it's, it's, but it's from the jump of this play. It's loose. Watch yeah. Mike Jones. Right, inside. Inside. Yep. Beat. Cut off by the lineman. Mike Jones, inside. And then, now, go back to six. Coming in. You, you got to have some. The, right now, the container's is dead. Somebody, yeah, somebody got to have It's contain. six. Coming in, he sliced in. He ran. Mm -hmm. Coming inside, you got to come on top. So now the container's there. So you, it's, it's what we – first game, first game it's, yep. it's, it's communication. Right, right. Key, keys. right uh, you know. What, what, what we talked about last week, ha having that first game, Florida State having that first game yeah. under the belt to yeah. fix a lot of those problems. Yeah. And, what, and I think the game was really indicative of that too. Mm -hmm. You know, being how we got down early. Right, right, right. All the mistakes early. We kind of cleaned up at the end. 
yeah. of the football game with the momentum, defense getting the three and out, right. you know, kind of figuring out a little bit as we go. Defense has some really good stances <laughs> down there inside the <laughs> ten yard line, did. inside the red zone. One hundred percent. If I'm not mistaken, he might. I knew it was two inside the ten, and maybe one that was a red zone stop as well. To Correct. the Mason Smith Correct. play. Correct. He made the play. Made that's the play. why he was oh, so excited because he made the play. And that's. <sighs> oh to man, it. I want to see it. Yeah. I don't want to see it. Fast forward down. I want to see that. I want to <laughs> oh, see the play. He just made the he play. Made the play. And then Major oh, yeah, just I come up, it. clean it up, and then. Pop. I don't want to see the play. Yeah, I don't want to see the play. Major burn. Major play well. Yeah, yeah. major play. Major play well. Major was so you got to make this play. But you made the play, but you got to make that play in the backfield. Kobe. He hurt himself too? Mm -hmm. BJ? Yeah, he came out and came back in. Okay. But he went straight to the trainer's tent. Hey, too. and I mean, right here, what, 3-0 ball game? Right. You, you know, everything is, is fine. Everything is fine. Then we start oh, getting man. the pressures. Then here comes the pressures. Open the gate up. And, and that's the one thing Florida State had. They come with some speed. Jared Still in the football game, though. Back it up. Back it up. You can use the arrows. Oh, wow. It's two. third and nine. <laughs> right. It's third Go and back. nine, but look at the DBs. Go back. About like six people blitzing. Go back. All the wrong way. Go back. And that's what we talk about, though. Like, it's so crazy. Look. Like Baskerville trying to get over. So, that's what right. I'm saying. Like, he's out of position. He's looping. Like, where is he going? He's out of position. He's looping, but he's it's, out of position. it's like not There's the no right hole. loop. He's right. looping he's himself out of position. Out of and then if we're – go back. Here we go. So from the, the, the lineup right now, what I'm looking at, I'm anticipating man coverage. Okay. I'm anticipating man coverage. We got a low safety coming down. Uh, who is this out here at corner? Is this uh, Major uh -uh. at the top right here? Bernard Converse. Closer to Right, he's locked in. Right. He's not Bernard looking Converse, anywhere else. Sage. Right, Kev? Right. Major. He's looking nowhere else. He's locked in. My slot's locked in. He's looking nowhere else. Inside leverage. Inside leverage. My safety's coming down to take uh, tight end. Tight end. Tight end. Everyone's locked in, man. My, Major, my, well, you got the other... Nickel too. Everyone's Three. coming down, locked, locked down. down. And if and, and on the top side, if he's not locked in, I'm anticipating him coming and him going out to take him. But and essentially still man to man coverage. And if it's man to man coverage and you notice know football is coming out, why are we so deep? You can't even see J Ward right here in the coverage. Yeah, you can't. You can't even see J Ward. Nah. And he's gonna be one coming down to make the tackle. But the ball's coming out quick. Not yet, right? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Don't, <laughs> That's a bell cow? Yeah, don't need to hear that bell yet. My bad. Yeah. I used to hate that thing at Mississippi State, dog. I still that's do. That's where it's from. That's, that's, that's where that's I hate it. it. I still do hate it. You know, but this is the thing. And this is one of the things that have to clean up anticipation, being too far off, knowing the down and distance, knowing yeah. the situation. You know what I mean? Better like, we're yeah, just talking know. about things that the first game that hopefully we're not talking about in game three. Yeah, you can't be that far off the sticks on third and nine. You know. Good D there, good catch. Bang, bang, play. You know, they make plays too. But like this, too you far can't off. be too far, too that far, far off. off. Too far like, off. Too far off. That's too far off. You know, that's he's behind the sticks and he's catching the ball and it's still two yards, three yards. And, from and you know, this is this is and, and this is simple. You know, the thing about it is, and when we talk about guys, we talk about the elite guys. When guys go first round and you're a first round draft pick, you know, immediately those guys come out and you and if you're Jay Ward, y'all know I love Jay Ward. Now. Mm -hmm. You know, I love me some Jay oh, Ward. That's my dude. Yeah. You know, I love me some Jay Ward. But on this one right here, Jay Ward, I got to understand that I got man outside, man inside, and down in distance. Well, we got third and three right third here. Three. You got to understand that young guys and understand that. Look, I got man outside. It's third and three. What's the likely inside route? You Slam. understand me? What's the likely inside route by that number two receiver? Oh, he he getting out. something to yeah. the flat. He getting an out route. He getting a, 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 a arrow route. He getting something to the flat now. And simply because you have one outside 
And outside is going to do what? He coming inside somewhere, huh, Kel? Yes. He coming in somewhere. It's just, it, it don't matter if you call that son bitch slant, whatever, tam, pan, whatever offense. It's always in this situation going to be the concept. Number one is just a clear out. We trying to get that thing to the flat. And that's the that's that's what you gotta anticipate in these situations, man. Same here. Same here. Same here. Short yardage, third and two. Let's be physical at point of attack. Ali Gay right here, he's way too far inside. Yeah. Like, hey, oh, lead this right here. Kev, I was talking to Micah the other day, right? Mm -hmm. After they game, you know, Montana State beat their ass. So <laughs> how, why, you had, <laughs> why you had to put it to it like that? Cause man, they did. Montana State was like fourth in their little thing. They beat theirs like 37 to 20 something. But my dog played well. He played 30 snaps. He did his thing. Shout out to my son. He did his thing. But look, the reason I thought about it, cause he had a play, right? Well, I asked him, I said, dude, why you got out flank like that? He was like, Dad, I was I should have took two steps across. And he was playing in, just like uh -huh. Ali Gay. That's what I brought up. He was like, Dad, I was supposed to take two step shuffle forward and then see. I would have seen the tight end coming at me if I'd have did it. But he said, nah, I took two steps down right. and got caught up. And that's what Ali Gay did right here. Mm -hmm. But and I love me some dog. Like, this is my dog right here. Eleven, that's my dog. But if he don't take those two steps inside, he doesn't get pinned and understand the situation. He come down right here and wreck this from the outside in. And he blows it up and everybody else got a loop. Take two steps up. Two yeah. steps up. Two steps up. Like the linebacker's just cutting the wash. Boom. Bingo. See? Even and you so crazy because uh go back one more time. The the tight end who was supposed to be blocking him. Stepped up and they had nobody. Look at him. There's nobody there. He looking. He looking. Right. First down. First down. So it's just those things, man, that we have to clean up. And this just. I mean, this was just terrible. It wasn't even well designed. Nope. And and for me, like, the DB, he really didn't even have to do this. If no, all around, he had to do was turn away. around. All he had to do was turn his head. But, mm -hmm. Kev, let me know. Because, you, you know, you've been on. Because I see this. I say this all the time. But I. Honestly, I've never actually, but you, you've you been on the college coaching. So you could answer this question for me probably. I always see this, and I always say that. That's like we just said. Why you ain't just turn around? Why you didn't turn and find the ball? You, as he's running, you see what the, the defender's eyes and everything is doing. Even if you he faking and you go for right. it. But some guys look like they're really – Taught not to turn around. Most Is that it? Most guys don't trust their techniques. Mm. Uh, and actually run to the guy and then get your eyes turned. And not just panic as you run. Because, right. Yeah. It, which guys, is what happened here. Right. Most yeah. guys he panic, panic when they get beat. He That's panic. just a natural reaction that you have to yeah. you know, overcome. And it's obviously man. Yeah. It's man coach. Oh, it's yeah. man all you, the way. You could watch major. I was man all the way. 100% big dog. 100%. He going with the reverse. That's why I say it wasn't even well designed. No, it wasn't. But the kid made a play through it, and that's what happens. You know, that's why I always, I always tell my kids, if you got to play like that, just put air on it. <laughs> just put air on it. And let him go make a play. Let him go make a play. Just put air on it. it was a but bad, you know, it, it was a bad ball, too. Oh, everything was terrible about it. Yeah, Kev, you know what? To your point, on that play, go back to it, Wes. Stu, excuse me. I don't know why I be calling you Wes, dog. Man, you have to change your name, Stu. No, I be, I don't be tripping. That's my dog, though. He know, he knows I love. But look, on here, just like you said, Kev, he panicked. If he would have stayed with his technique and just stay composed Got and it. just simply turn around, it would have failed to him. But it goes to your point of panicking, you know. And, but the, and, and and but I must say that's easy to say, <laughs> easy for us oh. to say. But you got to work that technique and trust that technique. Yeah, but Kev, listen, it's just like when you play dog or when I play. It is it is easy to say and harder to do. Right. But we do it. We work at like. 
it's easy for spectators to say and do it. They don't train and practice at right. that shit. True, true. Like that's what we do. Like as a quarterback, I'm like that's why you have the guys that that's the difference between a lot of like I'm supposed to stay calm in this pocket and see that rush coming and know I'm about to get my damn head taken off but complete <laughs> that thing for the first down. Now, this is the thing. I may not do that in the first quarter. You got to feel it out. You feel me? Because the up. first quarter, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> but when it get to that money time, fourth quarter, third quarter, and I know not shit, it's whatever. Right. The game's right. on the line. I'm going to sit in there and take two arm to the head. So when I see that happen, I be feeling like that, but I be like in the end, dog, because I don't dog, dog, Kev, you know, I don't <laughs> sent you sit in that thing and get blasted knowing – Oh God! Here comes Ray Lewis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know it, kid. Whoa! I, you know it, kid. I've been on that sideline early when I was in New England, dog. And I want. Well, I ain't never really played, but when I was just so. <laughs> <laughs> you was a. You, you was a. Listen, yeah, but at least you was a. Listen, I'm not spectator. tripping. <laughs> Everything I did there is blessing me. The greatest. The God play. I was round. Listen, this is the thing, dog. A couple of greats. It wasn't a lot even of greats. the dog. It wasn't even just the ones y'all know. It's the care. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the it's the it's the boys. You know, right, it's, I mean, right. I ain't even tripping by none of that. But you learn. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's time to lay that thing down, and when it's time, you know, before that, you got that dog in you. And I done seen, I done seen Tom sitting that sitting that thing and get rocked to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> And hey, deliver that Kev, thing. And hey, he looking at Kev like, nah, Kev ain't missing no block, dog. Hey, dog. Kev ain't missing no block. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. Somebody get Kev in the game. Kev man. ain't missing no Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why exactly. Kev was in the game? Why he not in the game? <laughs> hey, Kev, you know who, got to get off. Tell you, you know who was a vicious blocker, though, dog? Larry Center. Oh, yes. That's, I learned Jesus a lot from him. Christ. I, I mean, he, something was wrong with that kid. I learned a lot from him. He had a heavy head. Yes. That's the same thing you said about Colin Jackson. Something wrong with that kid. Something wrong with Colin Jackson. <laughs> we had went out there to uh, Zachary, and we had mic'd him up. I wish I had it. Did uh, y'all? Yes. And he was like, oh, bro. <laughs> he was just like, they he was, was like, loose. They and said, look, he must got that mic on him because he talking. Yeah, and the coach said, yeah, you talking a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk that much. No day of the week. He the don't. He, he quiet. Like, going to the dome. He going to the dome. He, was he just quiet. He chill. Yeah, y'all mic'd him up. He got all up inside, up inside himself. Up inside itself. Keep running it, dog. We're breaking this thing down. Keep running it until oh, yeah, we get to the end. All right. And so this is back. We're back on offense. Yep. Hey, Kev, you would have liked to see a little you bit more running? Definitely. Yeah, me too, I'm man. Bi I'm biased by the running game. I mean, I, listen, you know, I love to slam that thing, but I firmly believe the best friend of a, of, a, of, a, of a quarterback, you know, besides the left tackle, is the running back. Yeah, it's like a jab. Yeah, man. It's like a jab yeah, in a boxing man. match, man. And you see, those little pass plays like that, those are the things that we need. Like, that right there, beautiful play by Malik Neighbors, but a little bit off on the – and and I know I'm nitpicking, but though, that's where we have to be when we want to be efficient as It's the offense. little things. Ah. It really is. But, hey, this is the thing the kid does. Right. Right. And so good job of getting the first down. Good job of getting mm -hmm. the first down, man. Oh, he fought. Oh, now, listen. Man. The kid's a great competitor. The kid's a great competitor. KT. Another good See? Throw. Yeah, but that's the wrong guy. Yeah, he should. Well, that's the wrong guy. Great completion at the slot. Right here. Immediately. Oh, catch yeah, throw. Yeah. Slot. Whew. Boom. He coming. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, yeah. He taking that one. I'm seeing he things, now, man. Yeah, come on. Hey, come on. Nice little dump to A. He's turning up. That's all. That's what you got to, like. First, that was that was his first read. Yeah, and then the, but he went to the read he was comfortable with. Yeah, right. And I've done it. That's the only reason I know. I've done it. Mm. That's who he's comfortable with. Jare Jenkins is a comfort blanket. You understand? Yeah. But you the know he's gonna be there. Oh, he's a he's a comfort blanket. He's like he's like you know that warm cup of oatmeal. Uh, <laughs> You know that good bowl of gumbo on a on a on a, <laughs> on a cold, cold, cold day. wet day. You know what I'm saying? Cold That's your right. Uh, 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 a senior, confident. He probably talks, but the correct. And hey, we're gonna get oh, to that. Oh, look at eight. Listen, that's what we got to get to. He splits that and scores. Oh, that's that's. Um, but that's what I'm saying. That's what we have to get to with the maturation of it. And it's a great throw, good catch. Mm -hmm. Good throw, good catch. First down. Absolutely, absolutely. Now what do you? That do was just. It's listen, like slightly off. Like if you, you know what that was? You missed me last time, dog. 
You missed me on the last one. It looked like it wasn't no effort, but like I looked at it back like that was picture, you missed me on the last like, one. Slightly off. Like half you ain't throw it to me. What I was over. Not Coach Kev. <laughs> I need mean, Coach Kev. Coach Kev, what would you have told each player on this play? Well, I'm not a quarterback coach, so the quarterback is right. right there. Yeah, well, I'm but telling you. As far as Keshawn, you can tell that he's looking at the defender. Yeah. yeah. He sees the defender. Yes. And as a receiver, you're probably thinking, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Yeah. Because he's right there. That's exactly but right. But the quarterback is also thinking they got a little window that I can't. No, hit. listen. That ball is gone before his head's even right, turned. Right, right, right. So, honestly. But that goes back to what you talked about earlier, too. Timing. Time. It's like a half second early. But this is the thing. If you look at this play, look where this ball is. Now, let's simply talk about placement. Let it run and rewind it. Where's the ball? Right on the it hit him in the hip. Slow it down so you can see where the ball is. I don't know. I don't think he got that much uh, accuracy with that computer. That boy better be a master at it right now. Boom. Go to sentence. It, the ball is behind him is my point mm -hmm. on this. As terrible as everything was, and this is where they're going to get to. I'm just pointing it out. They're going to get there. If that ball is still inside mm -hmm. and numbers high, it still gives him a chance to catch it and get banged, right? Even though he went to the wrong side, it was early, so on and so forth. If that ball is inside and low to the numbers, it at least gives him an opportunity. Yeah. But to me, that was, you know what? I missed the touchdown on the last one on the crossing route. Now I'm going to force it to seven because seven is the man. That's what that said to me when I uh, initially saw that play and that happened on that down the distance. And it's just a block kick. You want you? Nah, skip that, man. I you know I don't like. I don't why, like talking why, why about you want to skip that? Cause that's critical. It is critical later on because later on. well, go ahead and show it. It is. I'm gonna come back to it. It is critical because I think that this is the sole reason why later on and part of my thinking for going for two was part of this what happened earlier. So you're correct. Oh, so you're saying you're uh, you're going for two? I am. You're going for two up later Little on. Little foreshadow. Game, huh? Yeah, I am. Okay. Because gotcha. I would have went for it. You know that. Rubo Gambler, babe. <laughs> hey, five was a monster. Yeah. Five was pretty damn He's good. pretty good. That transfer pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah. He was, a, he was a LSU <laughs> lean at one point. Right. We should have gave him that bag, baby. We, listen, we got to come up with that bag, baby. These boys need that bag. McKernan trying to get in that bag. Shout out to McKernan for getting in that bag, baby. <laughs> hey, McKernan got a lot of them off of that boy. He can't be the only one, I don't think. He huh? can't, dog. Hey, this was the thing. Now, that was out of bounds. That was good defense using that sideline. Really good defense using that sideline. That was that size difference right there. You couldn't even see that DB. Oh, Lord. Kev pointed this earlier. Go ahead, put the camera on Kev. Take it off of me. <laughs> How? Because we talked about this earlier with my dog. And, you know, K. Falk was one of the most prolific punt returners, kickoff returners, not only in the damn oh. college, but in the NFL as well. Oh, and he uses and he's using his so, fingertips. So, Kev. Go ahead and tell the people, bro. Go ahead. Go back to the punt return, uh, Wes, Stu. I got this boy a lot of names. Oh, you just man. saying it backwards? Hey, I'm telling you. I know. I'm going to leave you, it like that. I'm about to put you a shirt that says Wes on it. Hey, yeah. dog. That would be dope. You should get that shirt. <laughs> no, hey, but look. Like Kev, I took, go ahead, Kev. You was go ahead, Kev. How I coach punt returns. Go ahead, Kev. Keeping your fingertips in front of your face and not letting them go lower. Because if they go lower, your, show, your elbows automatically winds up. Winds up. Well, also what you do is teach yourself to get underneath the ball. And Malik got to one knee. And now you are you don't have no balance with yourself to go nowhere. He got to one knee now. So now you're trying to catch it with his fingertips and not with his. Oh, okay. So once he goes down to one knee, he's trying to catch it with his fingertips because right. he don't want to bring his hands in because right. he lowers on his legs and all that. Run that thing. He hit his knee? I didn't know he went down to a knee. He sure did. Oh, he just Lord. slipped up. 
Yeah, it just it's it's like Kev said though. Look look at where his elbows are. They're outside. Yeah. They're outside his legs. It's slid right. And they through. should. Yep, you can't do that. Hey, tutorial for all you fast, speedy, athletic punt returners, kick returners. You heard it. No, that would have had me. And gone. so that goes from that to this. Good play by Sage. Great play by Sage right there. Why we didn't see more of Sage? Yeah, I was, yeah. I don't know why we didn't see. Listen, like Kev pointed out, we. we now, the first you know, game. This, here's the first. Now, this is what the kid could do right here, like we pointed out before. Jay Dines is a hell of a competitor, man. I'm not even gonna take it out, take that away from him. He's a hell of a competitor. I just want him to play with his eyes up a little. Look like we tried play to take this. This was the shot play, and we could we got play. pressure. Right, right, right. This was the shot play. It was a wheel. You see the wheel forming here. Yeah. Now go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning of the play. Or 75. Yeah, they nah, just, it was with Campbell. Yeah, it was 75, 72, got that lunch, eight, and they disrupted the whole time and of it. And you, oh, oh, Lord. Then you know what it is, too? Pause it for a second. On some of those, when you have, and, 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 and I can attest to this because it's happened to me, just when you know you've repped the play, right, the week before, and you come in and you get that situation, because that did look like a design shot, and you get that situation to, to take that play, it puts a lot of pressure on those guys. And you put a lot of pressure on yourself to execute it. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you get that look that you've seen. So any slight little movement by the offensive, by the defensive lineman towards the offensive line, well, and that's what the hell happened. And those guys got too much penetration and couldn't even get the damn playoff. Hell. I mean, that was, you're right. That was the one time in, in, in that sequence of events, run it for me, where that you saw um, that we actually sat up to take a shot. And we talked about earlier that we didn't take many shots downfield. Well, this is probably why. Yeah, yeah too 75 much. 75 turn with his back to the quarterback. Well, with it, he's facing the quarterback. Yeah, yeah that's, never, that's never a good He's sign. in a trail technique, baby. That's never a good, that's never a good sign. <laughs> we always start the to keep center going forward. Yeah. The center. Yeah. The center. Hey. I hear the trail technique from the beginning, bro. Ooh. Goodness gracious. And Daniels just didn't have enough speed. And, well, you know, he that's, didn't get hitting. Well, that's one of them instances where you now know you in a different conference. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure that might have been good in the, in the what they in? Pac-12. That shit. But, I'm glad I was right earlier. <laughs> what you were right about? Pac-12. Yeah, oh yeah, that shit. It's atrocious. See, similar here, man. Come on, baby. Come on, 22, baby. I think we were just playing. I'll awful. tell you what, though. When, when Jay Ward arrived, he arrived, don't he? Why? Oh, my God. Don't why? he arrive? Why? Is you he, know he at the party. Why is he so far off? I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I, listen, then, man. I, you know. Then you're dropping 30 yards. And then, you know, I, listen. I mean, I guess. All right. When. Some of these guys, listen, I'm, I'm going to see it. We're looking to see a lot better. There's a lot of patience right here by number eight. Mm -hmm. A lot of patience. Rewind that. A lot of patience right there. Yeah, that was a good run. Push the lineman. Linebacker you know, plays it well. That's just good play. That's just good play. Good solid run. Good play all, both ways around. That's Go back. Good, now, this is, this is, this is. That was a good play call. Well, you know, the timing of it all, you see the games by the inside mm -hmm. defensive ends and to be able to have nobody out in the flat and able to slip them out, it was a, it was a good, timely call. I caught him in, and, you know, look at here. Look what we got here. Well, him to be able to get away from all that trash. That trash. That, the game that they had going on, yeah. that was good by him because you always taught, like, a, as a running back, you know, to avoid the, the defensive lineman because they, they take notice of that. Yeah. They can hold you any of that shit. Oh, yeah. grab you. Grab you, that's right. And, you know, Florida State had three really good backs, man. They had three backs that uh, could go the distance very quick. Here we see a counter trade with a, with a, with a little boot drag action. Ooh, right. Oh, he bounced off my dog. Yeah. I talked too oh See, that's the other thing. Listen, remember earlier? Go back, Stu. Remember, remember, remember we talked about last week tackling and, and guys coming yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. We talked about it. 
That was one of the things. You got to wrap up. But, you know, Jay Wall always trying to knock him out. Jaden yeah. got big, but he ain't that big. He ain't that big. <laughs> nah, he thought he was LeRon Landry. Yeah. yeah. So, so Sean Taylor or somebody. I need yeah. Jay to come in on the tackle a little more under control. Under, yeah, for true. his safety. Under control. <laughs> for his for safety. For his safety. He definitely and has to. Let's, let, let's side, stop man. right there. That's a perfect stop. For safety, Kev. Right there. Look at him. He's crouched. Wanting to, uh. right, right, <laughs> and two got to come harder than that too. I, I don't know who is two, dog. What's that boy name? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like I what two doing. Be coming behind it with the smoke. I need you two, supposed to try two, to be knocking head off. Yeah, two. I don't like that. Two supposed to scoop that right foot and dump that boy. Or, or going for the punch. But something. he's moving to. But listen, we let this week one. We we gonna give him a little. <laughs> but listen, I don't expect him to pick up all this extra yardage. No. That's the thing. We need to be able to put these guys on the ground, and we are gonna see that next. Good job by Major. Major showed up. Shout out to Major, man. Now see, this was a problem for me. And we and it was gonna be a tackling. I thought tackling was gonna be an issue. It always is though, like you pointed out, Kev, when you don't have that first game. Oh, this was a play. if he would have kept his feet in <laughs> like see that I was watching this with my fiance, you know what I told her, Kev, go back. This is why they measure Man. your hand size. Wait, go back. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. yes, this is why, this this is why they measure your hand size and your vertical right here. This is a perfect go back. Perfect, perfect reason. I used to always say that. Like, why? Was, yeah. No, nah, just think about it. If he had, a, and I'm not saying like he he's definitely off balance, right? But just imagine if he if had he, Odell hands. I ain't even talking about that. Just to go back to right. Yeah, well, true that too. But what I'm saying is, imagine if he had just a two more inch vertical or a bigger hand. That'd have been a pick. <laughs> That'd have been a pick. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they measure you. That's why people think these measurements aren't important. That's why. Because that's a pick in the end zone that changes the game. <laughs> nah, it's 3-3. Three, three. See, his head was up here. Nice. 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 Flag head was up there. Yeah, flag. But nice. Hey, I also think that Brian Taylor play, Brian Thomas played good, man. Yeah, yeah. They, I they, thought BT played well as he, he could. He for, is you know. gonna play good. It, he's he's gonna be a technician. He's a. I, I mean, Kev. I think BT. I think he's a. I th honestly, though, I think BT's a first. Um, he, I think he's the number one receiver. I do, I do. I think for his size, his skill set, how he move in little places. I just think that we gotta get some continuity. Cool. BT a monster, bro. right? Right. BT a monster. BT is a twelve-year NFL wide receiver type thing. And you putting that tag on him? Yeah, because I I believe that he's smart. He got years. good size. I mean, stay healthy. He got good size. He catches that thing good. He runs good routes, and he for his size, he transitions well in and out of cuts for his size. He plays like like a little smaller guy, like big boy. Out there at uh, Westfield, my big boy out there at Westfield. Trey, Trey Dez Big Green. Trey Dez, you know, my big <laughs> They said he might Dez. have a future in basketball, though. Trey Dez a monster, man. Trey Dez a monster on basketball. This is why I tell Trey Dez, right? When he walk in a basketball gym, you see a lot of Trey Dez. Now, he got some skill, that ain't what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But the height and ability right, inside, right, right, you see right. that. Now, when he walk into a football realm as a tight end, he's a unicorn. Have you ever seen a unicorn? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Him. That's what I'm saying. He's a unicorn, Man, the boy. Have you ever seen a unicorn? <laughs> yeah. Huh, Kev? Derek Stingley. <laughs> Stingley ain't no unicorn. Yeah, he a unicorn type athlete. Well, Stingley ain't no unicorn. Stingley's a great athlete. He's not a unicorn. That boy Trey Dead is a unicorn. Is a unicorn. Huh? For real. And not to take nothing away, Sting. Sting a monster. But... Sting ain't a unicorn. That boy Trey Dead. You can't look at me like that. Sting is not a unicorn. Trey Dead is a unicorn. Oh no, that's that's yeah. that's generation. We're gonna debate right that there. then. That's, We're gonna debate that. That's like so so look. So look. So what's Deion Sanders? Unicorn? Or not? Yes. Yes. All right. Jackson. What's Chant what's Champ Bailey? I'm talking no, I'm talking about DBs right now. What's Champ Bailey? Unicorn. 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 Yeah. I get you. 
I, I get where you going. You ain't gotta go no more. All right, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> you didn't see that yeah, before. Yeah, I see. I no see. You My bad. I it's got good. you. The boy raw. <laughs> I got you. Good. The boy just shut the room up just then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be talking again. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna be talking again. <laughs> Y'all, stupid. <laughs> Y'all stupid. <laughs> Um, now why? Bit, I but, need to know why we dropped J Roy in coverage. Jaquela, yeah, he athletic. Yeah, but, DJ, ooh, nigga Jack. Hey, hey. If he if he would get over one step, <laughs> if he could if, if he could get how much feet, you want Jack to do, look, dog? If he if he could get them feet moving one Kale, step, how he, much you want Jack? He to might do, look like Marcus Spears out there. Hey. Yeah, but nah, I ain't no. Nah, he ain't wait, Marcus wait, Spears freak. That was major. Unicorn. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. No, this is what no, major. No, 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 go back. That's go major again. right here. No, no, no. For twenty-eight. Where is blitzing? It? Major ain't on. The, oh yeah, major. We blitzing outside. Coming off the edge. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, major was coming out. Hey, that's a great play by Jack, dog. Like that's, <laughs> that's all Jack could do, bro. Yeah, that's major off the edge. Oh, for real. And oh, off the slot. You got at it. the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And right. ninety. I don't know who. I said, listen, that's a really, like, I'm not mad at this play call. Mm-mm. I'm really not. I mean, dropping Jack, eh? But he's in position. He, he, you know, he gives, it's a wrinkle. you hoping that the quarterback makes all a mistake. Doing, all they're doing is trying to hold the, the correct. offensive line to get there. from not getting out to get correct. to a yeah. major. That's Mate, all correct. it is. But You're right. Y'all hear Kel? Yeah. Say again, Kel. All they're doing is making Jaquillan take a step and a half up to hold the offensive lineman. So major can get through, you know, clean. Correct. So the offensive lineman don't pop out to get major. Correct, correct. So Jack takes two steps up into the line to try to engage that tackle. Is it the tackle? Yeah, that's the, the tackle. tackle. And well, let major come up is what Kev talking about. Well, J. Roy engaged the guard, but he's in. Yeah, yeah that's right. The guard, it's the yeah. guard. My bad. But the, the tackle yeah. slid inside the take because he thought. So he was going to step down. Yeah. He thought they both was coming. Yeah, you, That's a you, good job yeah, by is. Jack, He man. got a hand on him. And he, then he, he know, hustled and got the tackle. You know, but that's a better job by FSU. Mm-hmm. That's all. They just beat it. I understood it down the distance. You know what I mean? Now, this here was just atrocious. That's the play I was talking about. I ain't going to lie. This is just atrocious right here. I think that's what um, I was talking about. And, you know, I'm not – I am critical of this one. Because, dude, it was no Go play. Back. It was no play ever on the ball. And from what you saw, you know what the blitz was going to be. They brought everybody. You're in man coverage, baby. Oof. <laughs> I don't care. Oof, no. Oof. Oh, man. It was it's terrible. not really an It was athlete. terrible. It was terrible. Like a play. It was terrible. Oh, man. That's, that's intent. Ooh. That's intent. I got to see that again. You know. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I saw great nice, throw, but great catch. Great throw, great execution by Florida State on this. Honestly, with Ali Gay bearing down on him like that, this is what we talked about earlier, Kev. Look at the time. It's third quarter, 417 left. We talked about quarterbacks getting hit earlier when we talked about it. I wouldn't have took this in the first quarter. I wouldn't have took this hit in the first quarter with 0-0. Zero, zero. Right. I wouldn't have took that shit. It's now late in the game, and he – he knows what he's getting because he put the ball up so quick. Go back to it, to the fade touchdown. He knows what he's getting because he puts the ball up so quick. He read blitz zero from the beginning. Right. And so the ball's up, gets the penalty, and a great throw because he anticipated this. He knew this and put it up early. Look how quick 13 gets it up. Boom, ball's up. Ali Gay leans in with the head, get the penalty, and he throws a dime. It's a great pass, great throw. Good execution by them. Bang, bang, play. Um, defensive back turns around, Ali Gay f- flattens it out. And these are things that we're going to clean up. We're going to clean up. I always, uh, Kev know this, we always talk about it whenever we throwing routes on air or throwing routes, you know, against guys. If I'm even, I'm leaving. Right. And he got even before 2-4 even got in his, even turned his hips, and it was over. So good execution by them, man, good play by them. This was just part of us getting in the hole early and having to dig our way out, which was an exceptional job by the Tigers. 
you know, even here, this is one of the plays with the accuracy. And I know they was bearing down on him. Got the personal foul. One shot, first shot, attached, ball inside. Great job by the DB, but throw it up the field. Throw it up the field Depends outside the shoulder. Yeah, throw it up the field outside shoulder. It's a bad ball, though. Yeah, it was. That's what I'm saying. This is a placement. Bad ball. Great ball here. Good ball that here. Lacey getting extra yards. Yeah. Good quick decision, too. Good quick decision, ball out. Same here. Good quick decision, ball out. You know, the way – the uh, same here. I thought he was about to sc he, Yeah, but that see, the, the kind of athlete he is, you expect him to make that play. But still, great decision. That's the thing I like. That's the thing that's positive to me about Jaden Daniels. Besides the running, he made really good decisions. He made really good decisions with the football. He made really good decisions throughout the course of the game. Like we just saw, Kev, when to pull, when not to pull. You know, right. he played a solid football game. Solid football game. The the you know, f I know that we had some uh, injuries on the front, but I would have liked to see the, the front. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more pressure. Yeah, right, right, yeah. But we drop, we dropping like we. It looked like we dropping our edge. See like now that oh, edge, see like that, like that, that too. gotta make oh, that play, man. That jump, that you know, and it's the same thing defensively, Kevin. You could let me know, but when you start everybody trying to make plays and you get out your lanes. And you lose your assignments, right, and you're supposed right. to be, you know, that's what I saw a little bit from those guys. See, but we're getting pushed inside. We're not getting nothing outside. The outside got to contain. Outside got to contain. Mm. I see you, BK, baby. <laughs> First game, baby. <laughs> hey, BK look shook sometimes out there. <laughs> BK look like he was shook sometimes out there, Kev. Like, yeah, boy, you in SEC oh, now, buddy. Bro, you ain't see what he said at halftime? What that boy <laughs> said. What that boy said. He said. What that boy said. He said, I don't think we could play worse than that. I oh, think it's my first it's game. my first game. So I really don't know. That's what the man said. He said that at halftime. At half I don't think we could play worse than that. I don't I, think we. I could don't think. I don't I, think it's we our could first play worse game. It's my first I game. Think, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, sure they're on the big screen. I'm like, wow. You should write that shit on a greeting card. <laughs> Nobody gonna remember. Me. It's our that first. Was, you gotta write that shit. On <laughs> that's like telling the girl, it's our first date. I think it's gonna go good. It's our first date. It might not. But, but it I might think not. I might like you. <laughs> but I don't it might know. Not. Yeah, if, if I, I don't think I might like what y'all are doing, <laughs> right? Right, <laughs> if I don't, you pay for dinner. Tonight. Yeah, <laughs> like I, if they don't go you know, away, I won't. I left my card at home. Yeah, I, ooh, you know, you done had I don't them. Know, pop you up. can't leave your card at home. <laughs> you can't leave your card at home, buddy. <laughs> I'm so glad that you paying for the meal. Yeah, <laughs> you can't leave none of your cards at home. And we, and you know what, we know your money good, don't worry about it. We ain't leaving no real call good. with BK. Yeah, your, your money real good, Too partner. Good. Yeah, you talking about. We gonna just about. start you a tab over here. <laughs> yeah, forever. Forever, you good. Put that M up. Solid play here. B BT? Again. Solid yep. play here. Yeah, solid. That, like, that's what, you know, I just, what do you think? I I don't know what we were, I, I guess now that I see, like, Ooh. look. Come on, Kayshawn. Come on, Kayshawn. Kayshawn rolled over just now. Like, he about to lay down. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but for real. <laughs> like, why did you roll over? Yeah, bro. like, you about to get in a like cockroach that position. Kill it. <laughs> Wildin'. A roach getting sprayed with roach. Hey, Kayshawn was pissed off after the game, though. Yeah, man went straight to the locker room. He was pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> he was pissed off. That boy wanted he wanted uh some more touches I, or some I more attempts. I think they do need to give him more touches. Nah, let me tell you, Kayshawn Bouti is like Josh Reed, bro. You gotta and you got if you script plays or if you don't script plays, then Brock Sloan, you got to. That's nice right here. Now. Right, nice oh, combination. Nice right, nice right, right there. Nice Kayshawn. combination. That was nice. That was that was one of the most well executed plays of the night. Go back to that right there. Yeah, that was. That nice. was, I mean, well executed. Was nice. You saw him go through the progression and then come down. 
You know what I mean? He had, like he that, been, he's on, he, very comfortable he, with he Jure, missed, though. He missed yeah. Malik on this one again. Listen, that's because he's comfortable yeah. with Jure. I'm he's very lie. comfortable Look, with Jure. But this even in again. practice, when I was filming, a lot of the clips that I had of like Jure making big plays was, was he, yeah. He's ve- and that's and, and and I'm not surprised by that. I'm not yeah, surprised was, by that at all. That they got that chemistry. You you saw it. Who was Joe? Joe was spread that thing around. Yeah. He was one of, like you saw. Chase, but, you saw, but you had them gangsters. But so he you was most Joe, comfortable Joe had a plethora. Jefferson. Plethora. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, that's, that was but, his guy. But let me say this. When he had to go get one. It was Chase. It was, it was Jamal yeah. Chase. Yeah. I mean, and I'm going to tell you this. You know, and, and I and like I said, when Joe first came from Ohio, boom, 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 we spent some time together. And the kid was, he was phenomenal. But the time he spent, like he spent more time with that kid. Jamar Chase. Everybody got that shit. Every quarterback got that shit, dog. I don't care what nobody say. Everyone got that. Everybody. Everybody got that guy that you're going to go to. And for him right now, it's, it's Jeray Jenkins. Yeah. It's Jeray. See the running back pulling the linebacker? Pulling him out of there. It's like he just, like you said. And that's the read. But Kev, is he hooking up or going for go back? He should be going to the flat. That's nah. what I thought. Nah. That's what I thought. I don't know if that's, that's what a I set, thought. Sit route or not? No, what we're talking about right here is 22. Let's right. go back. Pause it right there. So. The read right here for the quarterback is this linebacker. We're putting this backer in a bind. Who is that, 15? Mm-hmm. We're putting 15 in a bind. Now, Kevin and I, because you know, you know what the fuck we're talking about. We come from good school. <laughs> we would normally send this back. That's Kamani? Who that is? That's Armani, yeah. Armani. Yeah. I said Kamani. <laughs> Armani. You know, I think about Kamani Marley, you know. Bob Marley's son, oh. you know, that's what, you know, y'all know that reggae, my bad. But look, I'm thinking me and Kev going to send him in a flat to pull 15. So 15 either has to take him or what 15's doing here. So look, you see what 15's doing here because he already has the ball, right? So mm-hmm. if Amani was in a flat, 15 I would, would correct, correct. So either or he can't be wrong. If 15 takes the back, we go to. Jure, if he backs up on Jure, we're mm-hmm. taking the back in the flat. But Kevin, I, and what I thought, I don't know if it's a bus or this is what he's taught, I would send him, or if he read Manners, I don't know, right. with these kids. But I would send him in a flat just to make it an easier read for, for the quarterback because you know, I'm quarterback friendly. <laughs> but this is perfect. It's a great read, great throw, and we in the end zone. But I'm going to go out on the limb, bro, and say that's his guy. That's his guy. Oh, yeah, that's who's yeah. That's who he's comfortable with. And look at him. Let's go. Ooh. Oh Lord. What Perk for 40. who is 40? Perk, Perk 40. Who that is? Perkin. My ain't boy? See that, you ain't see that hit on oh! you ain't see that hit on kickoff? Yeah, man, listen. You know I'm a Harold Perkins fan. I already know. Oh, you know? Yeah. That's my guy. I think he need to play more. I don't know why he not starting. Let's you flick your lip. <laughs> now look. Wonderful play here. Wonderful play here. And this was in the midst of us needing it back. So that was a three and no, mm-hmm. need three, excuse me, three and out, needing it back. He went to that knee again. There you go. He went to the knee, Kev. I'm glad they couldn't advance this ball. He went to the knee, Kev. That's you know what? what? Right there. And then if, if it's anybody, just go back to Malik, my dog, right there. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. Leave it right there with him right there. And I know we athletes, we don't like to be left in these positions. But if it's anybody that's a – Bounce back from all this this weekend is this kid. Ain't nobody worrying about Malik Neighbors. I'll take him off the screen. Ain't nobody worrying about Malik. Malik Neighbors is a gangster. We ain't no worry about that. Malik Neighbors is a baller. Ain't nobody Ooh. worrying about that. Huge play by the defense. Kev, this is one of the two stops you two three stops you were talking right. about inside the inside red zone. The red zone Huge. Hey, pause it right there. Go back. Now, a lot of people, my, my, a lot of people, I be, I done pissed a lot of people off when I said this before a couple of years ago, well, a long time ago, when I was coaching high school football at U High, and they wanted me to pitch it, and stop it right there, <laughs> and they wanted me to pitch it, Kev, inside the five yard line, and I'm one of those guys, call me whatever the hell you want to call me, but 
I don't believe in pitching the football inside the five yard line. We're not pitching the football. We're, we're not, not pitching it, and we're not pulling nobody. And we're not pulling nobody. <laughs> if you can't line up and <laughs> beat their ass in we the end zone it. for the five, <laughs> we're just gonna go the other way, dog. Yeah, you ain't like real shit, team, <laughs> cause dog, this is what happens. Like, and 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 I'm glad they did it, of course. But you don't do this. You don't pull. Like Kev just point. You don't pull. You don't pitch inside the five yard line. When the game's on the line and you're the only down, come on now. That's a disservice. So now, Malik Neighbors, we got your back, baby. Let's go to work. And we come right back. Hey, to beautiful play. This is the first. This is one of the. Go back to that one, dog. Go back to that one, dog. What you see here, go back to the beginning. You see my man go through the whole progression on this play right. almost. That time. One, you got to play. They only rushing three. Two, right. he got the number two right now. I'm going to come across the eight coming across. Boom. Ball out. And actually, a good play by Florida State. Same thing here. Ooh. Use your leg. Good job. Ruff, you got to get away. Yeah, come on, though. <laughs> you got to keep going. Listen, this kid's explosive with his feet, bro. He huh. really is. It ain't there. Uh, okay. Nice. Come down to seven. Yeah, seven. Really good. Yeah, it was. Really good drive. The kid showed a lot of moxie, man. This is what I like, though. Getting the ball. Look at B. That's what I'm talking about with BT. That's what I'm talking about with him right there, dog. I wouldn't say Kayshawn body language is bad. It's just No, his like body language is bad. Different. You can say it was bad. Like. No, it's bad. It just seems like. It's not swag. It's not swag and it's not like. It almost seems like I don't it's, care. It's, like lackadaisical. Like, you know what it says nonchalant. to me? I'm the man. Y'all should be feeding me the ball. The prima donna shit. Why well, receive with DBs? They all do it. Ain't nothing new. Look at BT just out there. He's an like, animal, kidding. dog. That's what I'm telling you. He's an animal. He's an animal. Mason Taylor this is what it should be right too. here. This is it. That play was crazy right now. That was beautiful. We was right. We was right here. Look, I think, I think, I think, Kev, to your point, go back, go back to that pause right there. To your point, Kev, when you pointed out the coaches are um, finding out it was their first game as well mm -hmm. with the team. I think they found out a lot too. I think they, I think about, offense about, about some players. Correct. Right. Right. And right. I, and I think they also found out like what kind of tempo that they could be going at, mm -hmm. and that I think this kid operates best when they're going tempo. Right. At right. least that's what it seems like. They had a few times that they went tempo, especially at the end of the game. I think that's one of the things that you question. You may want to question, like where was that earlier? Yeah. yeah. You know, but when you get in that situation. Yeah, trying to fill the game. Right, right. yes, right. yes, yes. Right, right. So right. we can say that talking about it uh, six, seven days later. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> right. But you know, from us playing and also, it's also shit we think about during the game while it's going on too, especially you and I know I do because I saw the tempo situation in the middle and I also thought what you thought earlier, why we're not doing a little bit more of the quick hitters with the running backs that seem to have – Gotten them off, especially when they flanked them out and used certain formations. Right. You know, so, I, I mean, I think they did a – I think the guys actually, man, now that I'm actually getting ready to see this condensed version again for like the sixth time, that <laughs> it like – I think they did a good job. I think we need to see the coaches put a little bit more into the game planning or even – now having an opportunity to see what they have and how guys respond and what to do. I think you'll probably see a little bit more. Fuck, it's easy to see a little bit more this week. But, you know, I think going forward, you, you can see a little bit of, like, who should be, you know, getting the ball and the directions that the ball should be going. Because there's a lot of receivers. But they got to put BT in that mix, baby. That boy is mm -hmm. serious. Yeah. BT. He's always been like that, too. Very quiet. Yeah. This was a great – Yes. Great execution right here. Great play call underneath to the tight end. Clear everything out. Got the linebacker coming one way. Bring the tight end back across. It. Well, behind what coaches him. that that ran all the way down to the five yard line. What do you call it? Do a timeout or something? I don't think that was BK though. Oh yeah, who was it? I don't who know. was it? Go back, dog. We gotta see whoever stumbled. Goodness gracious, he was sprinting. What? Cortez. That's Cortez. Well, uh, he fast. God damn. God damn, Cortez. Goodness gracious. Cortez is the five yard. He is the passing, right. he is the passing game coordinator, so maybe he was telling the, the quarterback something. Maybe. Man, Cortez on his job. <laughs> Great throw. Great throw. Good job. Great throw. Getting open. 
Great, great throw. Great throw. Go back. Man. We were sitting by his people. Who? Dre. Dre, yeah. Go back. Pause. Ooh. Pause. Go back. Oh. Go back. Go All back. Right. I see what you I see where you want to go. He's been open for a while. Like. Yeah. Yeah. The move. Off the and line. The, and the thing about it is uh, this. Patience. Yes. And he the thing set him up. But think about this, like as now a great throw and the reason and the reason why we scored, because he put the ball up. Right. Right. He put the ball up, great throw. But I'm I'm trying to say I'm trying to understand why is he looking to this side. That's what I'm trying. And also, if you're looking to this side, you pop booty right now. Right. Right. If you want him, you pop him right now. But understand, right? As a quarterback, I'm gonna come to the line of scrimmage. I'm gonna see where I'm at. Right. You know, you got double slant because clearly we got on the backside. We got double slants on the backside. Even if he's clearing it out with your number two receiver, he's going straight to the post. Mm -hmm. And that post is to take either inside linebacker or backside safety mm -hmm. to open up that backside, which is exactly mm -hmm. what it did. Right? Jare Jenkins, what a great route, Kev. Patience. My Patience at the line God of, senior. Patience at the line of scrimmage. Let the inside receiver clear it up for him. And so the things we're pointing out, the, this is a touchdown off top. As soon as he get the ball, boom, touchdown. So – what a great route. So what what, what I'm saying and the reason oh. I point point this out and how don't worry about it, I'm gonna talk to you get back to it. Don't worry about it, big Stu. You know, Stu geeked up. Yeah, but don't worry about it. We'll get back to it, get back to it. I'm gonna talk about it. So the reason why I bring that up and point that out is because Kev brought it up, we've all brought it up tonight, is to where we want to eventually get to. We want to eventually get to, and I think Jaden Daniels will be able to get there, we'll have that opportunity based on what we saw. We want to be able to, when we get to the line of scrimmage with Jaden Daniels, we line up here, we see uh, linebacker inside, safety outside. We know what the responsibility of number two is to get up inside that zone and clean it out or to get across the face of that linebacker and take him out to play. And now exactly what um, Stu had up there earlier. You're taking a long time, dog. Uh, right, exactly. Right, right. <laughs> exactly what we had up there. You see that backside open up. You see that backside open up like Kev pointed out because of the patience. The patience and the great route running of uh, the senior uh, Jare Jenkins on the backside of that double slant route. But, Damn, Stu, I'm not trying to talk about you. And then, Stu. It take it long, ain't it? Hey, bro. It take it long. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I got your back when you do it right now, now, but I'm, I'm gonna get on you now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get, I don't even know what happened. Why I went away? I, he clicked yeah, something. Stu, else. Stu, like he hit something that just he was clicking so much. Erased everything. Else. <laughs> he should have just used the. Um, the I can't do use the arrow. I know. I understand. I'm not on. Are like, we gonna YouTube. get it up anytime yeah, soon? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there for you, Rose. <laughs> All right. I mean, goodness gracious. All right, well, but come on, hey. I was very critical of Jaden Daniels. Right. I ain't gonna lie. Go. I, I you take you gonna be back. critical to quarterbacks regardless. I am, that's, dog. That's just the position. I am. Not just being biased about it. That's yeah, all. You're right. You're right, kid. I am. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Stu. Now look. Same thing we talked about up inside. Now watch. We got a big. Nah, never, yeah, mind. Yeah, never, mind. never mind. Never mind. Look, never mind. Never mind. Look, that's the way it came up on that road. It might take too long. Now yeah, we good. But look, you are gonna see Jare. Open from the beginning. He catches the touchdown, but he's open from the beginning because of how oh, he's open now. And, you know, if that's a lower pass, it brings that backside guy into play. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, great job by him putting it high, but that's what we want to get to. Because against a SEC caliber team, that, you, that's not going that way. But great oh. job, great execution. Now, here come, here we go. Here we go. Cut it off. <laughs> Cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> he's <laughs> looking at me, dog. <laughs> we drove for it all night, and listen, I'm gonna be a little critical, and it's just this is always just my opinion. I would have went for two. I would have went for the win personally, and you know everybody can say what they say, and I know BK has been um, getting some criticism. Um, and also some praise, uh, mixed decisions, I guess. Analytics, right? Analytics come into play with this. You know, we go for it. 
we go into overtime and we um, play to win the football game later. And for me, the reason why I would have went for it and went for the victory is a couple different reasons. And the two main for me, I guess, is the fact that our special teams on that side was atrocious. And especially that operation the entire evening. You just don't know what you were going to get with it. And two, for me, it's a statement thing um, with still have an opportunity, even if you lose or win that football game, to go on and still, and we're not saying that she's going to win that season championship, win national championship. Hey, crazier things have happened. We're not going to say that. But you still have the opportunity, even if you lose to Florida State right or wrong, because if you win the SEC, win the SEC championship, you're in the national championship, you're in the playoffs, all that. Yeah. So for me, not going for and I don't think anybody would have been mad at you for going for it, your first game in the Dome, your first game coaching, your first game in Louisiana, and you wanting to win, and your team having that momentum from fighting all the way back uh, down and coming down to this point to where you can either kick the field goal or go for two. So those reasons were enough for me. And I ain't even think about it. As soon as that shit, I, like I said, I didn't. I was, uh, you know, I was toe up during the end of that game, so I didn't know what real life was. <laughs> that happened on the to way. Later. But you know, in my right mind, watching, it, I would have went for two. I would have went for two. I would have went for the win um, for all those reasons and to let them know, hey, I'm da da da. But I understand the analytics factor, and I think a lot of coaches. I think if you go ten out of eight. Eight out of ten coaches would have been like, yeah, I'm going to go kick and I'm going to go and I'm going to take my chances over time. But for the situation and the newness and everything and the, everything that comes with it, I'm going for two for the win. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have did. Yeah, okay, you, you talked about it. You asked me earlier about it when we was offset, and I said I would have kicked the uh, the extra point. Mm -hmm. Go for playing overtime. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we actually sat down and talked about it, I felt you. Uh, as far as the momentum, we just drove the ball <laughs> 90 something yards balling 90 something yards was had offense in the rhythm quarterback in the rhythm so why why not why uh, not attack that use that yeah. momentum got guys were ready for it they were ready they for were the ready. moment they were ready for that moment but i, I feel you on that one, but i think I still and then you <laughs> <laughs> and then you know the thing for me like in the uh, i and i think about it like from an offensive perspective and, you know, even when I called briefly in high school and seven on seven, I always think of when is the right time for that perfect play that we've been working on when there's so much chaos going around, when there's so much window dressing I can do. Like, that was the perfect moment for not the play they expect you to run, you know what I mean, in that situation, but for the perfect fuck you play. In that moment that you've been working on, whatever play, I don't know what play they've been working on. Because of the chaos, because of everything that was going on, because of the moment. Because of the moment, yeah, really. Yeah, man. It's the moment. Yeah, it's like expect, all. Expect, yes, the unexpected. Yeah, yes, I got you, I got you, yes. I got you. Like, it was a perfect time for you to, boom, hit their ass and get up out of that thing with the victory. Like, it, it would have, like, any, I don't know what the play would have been if I, I would have had something crazy. talking about the uh, Philly special type Something play. like that. Really exactly, exactly, exactly. In that moment, in that moment, the, the to dial it up, you know, first play, first this, first everything, it would have been perfect. It would have been, been absolutely perfect. So I would have been one of them coaches that would have been trying to dial throw, that up. and Throw nuts in that one play. Something or, or something, you know. I don't know what it is. Some right, kind of right. smoke screen and window screen, window dressing. You know, like the magicians do. Show you something, do something else. <laughs> but magician. yeah, put one hand over there, got something. In or like head. show you something, or or preface and set the play up in the first quarter with a crazy run or something, mm -hmm. and then come back and think we're gonna do that crazy run, and then you think this is what it's gonna be off of the crazy run, but nah, it ain't that off the crazy run, it's this off the crazy run. Like the, you know what I'm like saying? Like the Joe Burrow fourth quarter Alabama, fake quarterback draw, throw the, uh, like the pop pass. Anything been doing like that, that all but game. something else. Yeah, Man, like just... that, but something else. Yeah, exactly. Something like that, but been set up. Like, I firmly believe in, like, if you have and regardless of, 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 of what the game is, because you always, 
and I, I get this shit really from Bill and Saban. Like you always have an opportunity to work something, craft something, if you've been working on it in practice or if you have an opportunity to run it in the game just to see it in live situations. And that's like to me what it could have been for LSU. You know, you work. I know they got that. They got to. Everyone has it. I've never been somewhere where you didn't have this. So everyone has it. They're no different. They're from trees of everyone else. Like we've been around camp. Right. They have it. So just the okay, I'm going to set it up with this in the first quarter, whatever, this kind of run because I may need it later in the game for whatever, whatever. And I show it. Whether it was the crazy unbalanced formation or something. You know what I mean? And we ran unbalanced six times. And now I got. Some crazy shit coming off the unbalance. Yeah, conventionally it may be a reverse pass, but what if it was a reverse, reverse, reverse pass? You know what I mean? Like it just something got to be different. And I, like, when they when you first saw the jump pass from Florida, right? Shit was wide open. When you yes. first saw the the flip behind your back that Les Miles came up with the kicker, you remember that shit? Where he put it down and flipped right. it over. The dude walked in the end zone. Like, those are the things I'm talking about. You got to have something right, like that right, where right. it's just wide open and, listen, we're going to win this game because of it. You know what I mean? And I, we just ain't never seen none of that stuff. But there's a new week. They know the players. They know the guys that's coming right. on board. And that's the end. Honestly, that's the end of the Florida State game. Florida State came in, took the victory. Uh, hats off to them. And we're going to – preference and come back but this week we have Southern University and you would from the buzz and what's going on around Baton Rouge and honestly the culture um, it's unbelievable what's, what's, what the, the, the anticipation and the buzz for this game that's happening for the first time ever so we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to come back and we're going to dive right into this SU, LSU game and wrap this thing up and get out of here in a little bit. But we got a big one coming up where my dog's at. Hey! In a wreck, Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is ready to go to work for you. Come meet your team. I'm your intake specialist. I coordinate your case and connect you with your attorney and paralegal. That's us, your legal team. Thanks. And we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. I'm your settlements and disbursement manager, and I'm here to get you paid on time. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Put our team to work today. Just call us. Get it done! Do you suffer from chronic dehydration? Are you looking to improve your athletic performance and you need to get over and see our friends over at GoFlow IV? They're located on Jefferson Highway. Easy to find them online at geauxflowiv.com. Make sure and use the promo code Jordy Colada Show. If you do, they'll take 15% off of your initial visit. Check them out online, geauxflowiv.com. In a wreck, Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys is So, so, well, I got to tell you really what happened. So, so, man, it's a, when they play that song, that fight song, man, you know, we only play that fight song in the fourth quarter in the start of the game. Well, well, it was a time where they were trying to rally us and we were getting our ass destroyed. Yeah, it was, it was 13 that in the halftime. The band played the fight song in the second quarter. Show like did. At a time Show did. It, it man. They absolutely that did. That goddamn song got in my bones, and I started having a goddamn out of body experience. <laughs> and I told Coach Saber was walking, and I told Coach Saber, Coach, I want to play. 
And he looked at me and said, why don't you step behind the line? <laughs> topics dog how you feeling hot man? topics let's get into that right now what we talking about right now is you know myself i played for uh coach jimbo fisher and i also played for coach nick saban um at the hot twilight of my years at lsu uh transferring from coach jerry donardo and i i've spoken about this a couple times we gotta turn the air up down in here dog. Oh, damn um I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for, so for, for Coach Saban to, excuse me, to go into the, the, the kind of rant that he did, but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the, the name calling part, I think somebody might have slipped, slipped him a Mickey or, 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 or slipped him something uh, before, he, before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some... Uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under the table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting wise and uh, coaching wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parody and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parody is happening. You know what I mean? Parody is happening when it comes to the Texas A&Ms, the, 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 the Clemsons, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack. And now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. The, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at, that, at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money. You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after and they are edge rushers and they are defensive players, it's because they got more money. It's because they offered these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checks books and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like he said, get some kind of parity for the NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell, to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money. I say this, man, you better catch up. <laughs> so, see, if 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 he's gonna come out and do that every time, well, now and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo. You know that I talked to Jimbo personally about this and. Their friendship was a friendship that was more uh, professional. Yeah, you know what I mean? Professional. Uh, not we're going to spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit. It was, you know, very professional. You coach for me. We learn from each other, that type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit, you know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now... They're going to dig into your shit. So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you, could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag, now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it, keep, keep, keep all that in house? The coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that, that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest, whoever picks this it's up to even where, playing field. Yeah, 100%. 
even playing field because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had what four different coordinators in four years. Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. Yeah, uh, bring back the Joe Brady one. That one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background. This is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's you know, different verbiage. Curl flat is curl flat. Goals is goals. You know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from Nuss, Meyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys. They should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nuss, Miles' advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, his legs. Without a doubt, his confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going there because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out, but he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. Coaches chimed in on that. Uh, Lane Kiffin chimed in too. Lane Kiffin was like, his <laughs> Lane Kiffin said his mouth was still wide open. It was seven o'clock and he's still looking at the tele <laughs> at the television. And the press conference was that damn one o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean? So I, all those coaches chimed in because they were surprised at what happened with Coach Saban saying that. Because if you think about Coach Saban, everything that he does is very calculated, and it's and it's and it's to move the needle in his direction in his favor. So I don't know if what his motive was, I would love for him to let us know what that was or to come out so we can find out. I don't know what his motive was, but his motive, but it, whatever his motive was, it was definitely something that he planned in my opinion, just from playing for him and, I, and knowing him as a, as a per, as you know, friends. We're all from different places and backgrounds. We've each experienced our own versions of life, but in the end, we're all on the same team. I'm part of that team, along with these players in purple and gold. Kayshawn Buddha, Malik Neighbors, Miles Frazier, Kyle Lacey, Greg Brooks. Whether on the field or in the courtroom, your team matters. So join our team. Make a difference. Bet. Let's get it done. I remember going to the Tennessee camp. Oh, this and, is a great story. And I had locked everybody up. Yeah. Like, literally, I was licking my chops. Yeah. And I'm like, yo. Jarvis and Adele were there, right? Everybody was there. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, all y'all get in line. Like, everybody, come on. I'm going to go I'm rep. getting back in line. I'm going to go rep after rep. And right. then it really kind of turned into a show where none of the right. DBs wanted to go. Yeah. None of the receivers wanted to go. It was literally, then it turned into me and Jarvis. Right. Just one-on-one. -on -one, you know what I mean? So, uh. Yeah, well, I, I think it starts here, you know, and we have a good bit of people on this particular staff who are from Louisiana, uh, who know and believe in our hearts that this place produces the best football players 
in the country, you know, and I think the numbers speak for themselves per capita with the most NFL players, you know what I mean? So even from an analytical standpoint, it makes sense to take the kids from here because the chances of them playing the league are higher than if they come from anywhere else. Yeah. Um, I think our brand is super powerful, so we will have to recruit at a national level or there's really no reason that we, we shouldn't, you know what I mean? Because if we can get a top player from another state who can help us win a championship, then of course, right? But um, I think it starts right here in Louisiana and then right here in Baton Rouge. You know, mm -hmm. there's some really good players who are still available that are right here in Baton Rouge. Hot topics, dog. How you feeling? Hot man? topics. Let's get into that right now. What we're talking about right now is, you know, myself, I played for uh, – Coach Jimbo Fisher, and I also played for Coach Nick Saban um, at the hot twilight of my years at LSU, uh, transferring from Coach Jerry DiNardo. And I, I've spoken about this a couple times. We got to turn the air up down in here, though. Oh, damn. Um, I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for, so for, for Coach Saban to, excuse me, to go into the, the, the kind of rant that he did, but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part, um, I don't know if the, the name calling part, I think somebody might have slipped, slipped him a Mickey or, 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 or slipped him something uh, before, he, before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level, for him to call them guys, and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Do we really think that he's winning those without the under the table deals that's now on top of the table? I mean, it's college football. You've been dominating the sport recruiting wise and uh, coaching wise for a while now. So my thing is, damn, you talk about parity and you want everybody to catch up. Well, parity is happening. You know what I mean? Parity is happening when it comes to the Texas A&M's, the, 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 the Clemson's, the, the, the uh, Ole Miss, these teams that used to be in the middle of the pack, and now these teams are now stepping up to the plate because of NIL. The, and, and the question, and that's why I said when he was at, that, at this little or this meeting that he was having, it was for boosters. You know what I mean? It was a, how are you talking about somebody else's money and you there begging for money? You there trying to get these people to, or you trying to let them know, listen, these guys, the reason why they took four of the top eight guys that we were going after, and they are edge rushers, and they are defensive players, it's because they got more money. It's because they offered these guys more money. Their NIL deals were better. So open up them checkbooks and let me get this money. You know, whether it was that angle or the angle of trying to, like you said, get some kind of parity for the, NCAA or the federal government, whoever the hell, to come in and regulate what they're doing with the money. I say this, man, you better catch up.
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, I'm back now. Crazy mm. motherfucker. You see how you no, did that? No, but that, cause you gotta have a little more enthusiasm. That's that what I'm was... saying. Oh, man. I'm glad somebody here to witness this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Now you saw at the beginning of the show. That what happened. That what I'm telling you. you Got to keep the, the, the same momentum. Halftime adjustment. Lou, That's big. what I'm telling you. Yeah, it was a big you, and half. You a front runner. You a front runner. That's what that mean. You mean you a front. Hey, remember Bill? You saw always talking about front runner. Front team? runners all day. Can't be a front runner, dog. You got to keep that momentum the whole time. Got to be consistent with it. Oh, well, you know, still good. Still. Yeah. So, y'all see the shirt? SU, LSU. I like the shirt. I like the shirt. You like the shirt? At first, I was trying to figure it out. It, it, it took me a little while. United. House United. United. It took, it took you know? me a little while, but I got it. I got it. Um, so, listen, I mean, is this. <sighs> I think it's a stupid question I was about to ask. But my ass anyway, hey, I always tell those guys, listen, you have no quick stupid questions. The stupid question is a question you don't ask. <laughs> right? No that would you tell questions. them? There are no, there stupid, are no questions. stupid questions. Well, let's see if you agree after I say this. I kind of got an idea. Does the score really matter this weekend? No. Does the score really matter this weekend? No. Nah. Does it matter? I. Unless it's 86 to zero. Well, we know we ain't gonna have no flow mo score. I'm so, let, you know, I don't even know why you just said that. No, I wasn't just, saying it like that. I wasn't saying it like that. You took it the wrong way. I was being funny. Like, cause they off scored that. Even though you're right. Huh? Huh? You, I think you took it the wrong way. What? Well, how'd you mean it? Like, cause Southern scored 86 last week. I was just being funny, like. So this had nothing to do with us talking me and Kev talking off air. No. <laughs> and you knowing that I have a direct co- connection with Florida Memorial. No. That was okay. funny. I'm going to believe what you said. But. Not you trying to check me. Southern, U- <laughs> Southern <laughs> University. <laughs> on the cool right now. On the cool. On the cool I'm just trying to see what she taking a shot because Florida Memorial <laughs> got their ass whooped by Southern University. 86 to 0. How many points you said they had in the first quarter, Cal? 42. 42 points? Yeah. It was 28 with four minutes left in the first quarter. I turned it off after that. You turned it off? Yeah, because I was trying to watch Ooh. film. I was trying to watch film. I was trying to get some, I was trying to get some, hey. I was trying to get some intel. I think you could take them boys off the bat of the 27, 22nd, and go put the, put, put the little hood team together back when I was growing up, and go play Southern University and at least put up seven. You know what I'm saying? Florida For you, Lamar, you ain't put up zero. They ain't put up a damn thing. I'm gonna tell you what they did put up, a nice little bus drive down here, because I know they ain't fly, I don't think they flew now. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think they flew. No. Like, like, like Stu say, Southern took that little money, LSU gave them already. <laughs> Brought them boys down here to get that whooping. Sent them back for a little tune-up, and now they coming in Tiger Stadium. So, first time ever LSU wow. has ever played a HBCU. Not even, let's just bring Southern out the equation, but the first time ever that Tiger Stadium will be graced with Man. a HBCU, and they're right down the street, Southern University. Jagger Wall. I'm looking for some highlights. All I see is bad highlights. That's crazy. That's the like, colors. Hey, um, hey, you know that the the uh, like the concession stands and stuff gonna be mad at halftime. They're gonna be what? Mad at halftime. Wow. Cause ain't nobody going to the concession stand. Ain't nobody going there, baby. I want to see that human jukebox, <laughs> ain't baby. Ain't nobody going to the concession stand, baby. We want to see the band. Ain't hey. hey, they supposed to have like a collabo or something? Yeah, uh, yeah a collab yeah. with LSU? Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, I was thinking that we should just give them the whole house. Man, time. look at this game, dog. I'm, I'm just watching the highlights. I'm just trying to see what we what we looking at this I, game. I was oh, thinking. You you see what I was, what I was thinking about? What? what? I was, what he looking at the highlights. Yeah. 
Hey, I was thinking we just get him the whole halftime, dog. You know, as a tribute, as a as a as a thank you. You know, I think the collabo thing would be good too, though. I think the collabo thing is good, but I I want to I want to see the the band Southern University Jaguars. Oh, I want to see him turn it out. <laughs> I want to see him turn it out. That human jukebox, baby. You understand me? I remember when I first came here, dog, and we used to go on the yard. Remember, go over that thing on when it was Tuesday, Wednesday, one of the thing. We go over, <laughs> over Tuesday. Tuesday. We go over that thing, pull up in that thing. Ain't deep, nobody doing nothing. Deep out there, just chilling. The boy opened the things up, big speakers booming. Hey, we was like the human juice box. <laughs> <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> but dog. When I first saw them perform in person at the Madal Mike Hayes, shout out Madal Mike Hayes, had left LSU and went to Southern. That was the first time I seen him perform. Dog, oh. it was electric. You hear me? Electric. And 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 I already know I don't know what they got planned. I don't know what they got planned. It's kicking off tonight though, right? Yeah. They got, this, they got, they got something going on school. tomorrow. You want to see them juke? Man, listen. This, this was a high school game, bro. I told you that. Look at the stands. <laughs> it looked like a high school home. Man, listen, I told you, man. Florida Memorial haven't had football. Those are guys that, you know, they just put together. Look, I don't mean to know, disrespect nobody, but I didn't know Southern had a white dude on their team. <laughs> the Southern? kicker. It is the kicker, but. Yeah, that he don't, we don't pay no respect to the kickers. Anymore. We don't pay no respect. Yeah. No, whoa, not, whoa, not whoa. until they mess up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. when you're going to pay attention to it. When you exactly. Other than that, we do not pay attention to He might to be one of the most important people on the team besides the quarterback. I agree. Man, but we're not going to pay no attention to them until they mess up, Kel. This dude, you, not, you know the psyche. We're going to leave him alone. <laughs> we're not going to mess with them kickers. and We're not paying no attention to none of them. Like, you remember the years they were giving all that? To, what's the kid name from Australia? Brad what? Wayne. He was pretty fucking good, though. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. he was pretty good. And he had an enagment personality. His personality was pretty damn good as well. But other than that. Australia, you're going to have an extreme personality. Mm. Good day, Mike. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you almost sound like you had a little Australian accent. Yeah, they they do they, have extreme personalities. They cool. I like I like them. They cool. You know, mm. Brad Wynn was an animal. I like that boy. Man, this is this is That's listen. So I can't believe it. Listen. Let me see. So is the score important? No one say yes or no? Nah. Is the score You just gotta see. Do we all agree cool. LSU wins? Yes. 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 Kev right here say nothing. Yes. Yes. Do we all agree it's convincing? Yes. Yes. It's it's it gonna be convinced be. Yes. by halftime. If it not, be. it's gonna be ugly. I, okay. I think the play of the guys means more. Um, to me. You know how they respond from last week. Correct. Um, the consistency during the course of the game. You know how they do. Correct. Um, most important, cool and stay healthy. Really. Well. I think the import, the the health part is very important. I think the health part is very important. And the thing the thing about it for me with this game is such a buzz about this football game. It's such like everybody is excited about it. And everybody's I mean, you got people coming in town, but for the most part, people are here. The people that's coming to this game, they're here. You know what they I mean? They live here. They live here. Or in the proximity. You got right. <laughs> right. <laughs> You got guys on both sides of the football field that know each other, that have played against each other, that some are related to each other. You have um, coaches. Go ahead, Kev. I was about to say, they go to the same clubs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they see each other. So they, they, they know each other. You have, um, you know, and it goes so deeper with even the community, you know, presidents right, right, of each right. university. Um, you know, the culture of the university, we're separated by, what, 15 minutes, eight miles, whatever it may be. Um, and something that has never happened here before, where these two teams have played each other being right down the street from each other. There's always been, even when I was in school, that question, what if we played y'all? What if y'all played us? How would it go? How this, how that? And it was always a friendly thing. It was, it was never... 
any animosity or anything where you know y'all this y'all that and 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 i want to be able to take this game and what this is doing away from the negativity that either anyone or people want to interject into why or why not this is happening now for the first time and it's my understanding that this game was supposed to take place like a couple of years ago uh, when we ended up playing UTSA in Tiger Stadium. That was actually supposed to be um, Southern. Wow, I didn't and, know that. Yeah, I just found this out from having a very in-depth conversation. Mm, somebody must have. With a former uh, coach. Um, that this was supposed to happen, and for whatever reason, it didn't. So it's something that's been in the works for a while. It's something that's been talked about for a while. And I think it's something that if it's handled and done in the right way with the respect, and it seems like it has. It seems like it's been a really good conservative effort from both parts. I see, like, you know, both both teams are having welcome parties. Both teams are having, having welcome events that are inviting each other, right, you know right, what I mean, right, right, right. To, to, to each other's events. Southern LSU did something today, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. The president was talking about that and everything. They had the the big function today where both both guys and and we talk about Scott as well being a being you know AD being able to interject and they they had the function today was something that I think transitions to tomorrow with the golf and you know all the stuff and right. all the parties and the welcome party I know they have that little birds in downtown with both LSU and SU. Um, coming together doing something and i think it's a beautiful thing man i think it's a wonderful thing where you see different sides it's been so much for so long um where you have the animosity from the black and brown community towards lsu because of the segregation because not being welcome because all the things that have gone into um segregation and honestly and why this hasn't happened for me, it is a deal, but it's not a deal. Why it's taking place now, it's a deal, but it's not a deal. The point for me is it's taking place now. It's taking place now, and, and we're here now in this moment with this. And I think that the more positivity, the more what we call a unitedness, if that's a word, that we can have a house united and not just one side, not just this house, but a house united, every house. We always talk about... You know, you have when me, you grow up and you have you have sometimes you have mixed marriages and you have mixed um, integrated kids and you have football is the ultimate sport, man, for me, where you have guys from every single walk of life, every almost I won't say every, but a lot of different nationalities that have to come together. And that's one of the beautiful things about every year when you start anything especially me being and Kev could attest to this when you start out the season of football and you have to build that team and put those guys together and it's the same thing when you're building a community when you're building a state it's so many different personalities so many different walks of life that have to come together for the common good and that's what football has taught me is when you have guys myself from Jamaica Karen Cole, Louisiana um, New York Miami the Bahamas, freaking Germany, China. I've played with guys from all across these world, and everybody poor, rich, in um, middle class. You know what I mean? Whatever it be, got white guys that I've played with that came from a racist background, but now you're with black and Chinese in this whole in the, in the, in the, in the, in, the, in a room, and and you have to bond together, and you have to have that discernment where I'm not taking what you're saying personally because you come from a lower class or you are come from a higher class, but I'm taking what you say because we have a common goal and I don't see your skin color, I don't see your nationality, but I see you as a person and I see your heart and that's exactly what I'm judging. And that's honestly what I'm asking and pleading for everybody this weekend and going forward to see see with each other see when we tailgating see the intermingling see the different music see the different class the different social class and even if you can't understand it respect it <laughs> couldn't say it any better my friend <laughs> that's what it's about respect it man respect 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 it's going to be a great time it's the, and let's make it the first of many you know what i mean let's make it the first of many let's have a grambling lsu game let's have a 
Grambling Southern game. Let's make one of make this an annual thing. Let's make it to where we're keeping the money in the community and we're helping our brethren down the street. And as well as our brethren is helping us because uh I went and met the little remember I told you Kay, I went and saw the little man yesterday by the barbecue mm -hmm. grill. And he told me something that stuck with me. And he told me he was like, you know, he was talking about God. And how he's a godly man and how there's so many lessons that he's learned and he told me he looked at me and was talking about you know whether or not i would want him to mentor me in learning more about you know the grilling and stuff that we into the cooking and he was like you know i believe that as an adult and as a young child i'm as an adult i'm never too old to learn from mm -hmm. someone younger right you know what I'm about to say. Yes, yes, and so it's the same way I feel with this. Let's not question whether or not when it should have happened, did it happen, who's winning, who's losing, who's this, who's that. Let's know that, man, we <clears throat> all can learn. We all are at this point where it doesn't matter if it didn't happen before, if it did happen, if it did, we're here now. Let's make it the best. Let's progress it. Let's make sure that we hold people accountable. And let's make sure that it's done the right way. And make sure we act we act the right way and act accordingly. And so show it continue who we to are. happen. Right. So we continue to have it. Dope. So I'ma go out on the limb. I guess I ain't no limb. I'm gonna say LSU wins. I'm not gonna give a prediction on like, you know, the score. I don't know what the spread is gonna be. But I'm like you, Kev. My thing, because I, I look at it like I love what where it, what we're doing and what is going to happen this weekend. But when I look at it more past as a football and where you want your team to be, I also look at it from that point. If it wasn't Southern playing this weekend, if it was someone else, how do we get better from last week? Right. And right. so for me, getting better from last week, and I'm going to ask a question to everybody in a second. I just thought about it. Well, I'm a Getting better from last week is seeing how we improve on what we didn't do well. Right. You know, can we throw the ball a little bit more efficiently? Can we continue to establish the run game? Because I think that's something that's important. Can we establish the run and get these two-headed monsters? Because I think we got two good backs. I think we got three. Three. There you go. There you go. We might even have four, you know, certain situations. Yeah. But I think you got three really good running backs. What you looking for this week as far as, like, coming off of – that game against FSU and not going in the Southern this week? What we learned um, that we did wrong, that we might need to improve on offensively. Um, defensively, apply more pressure. Yeah. Stu said that earlier. Yeah. Apply more pressure. Um, you know, make sure, you know, we understand the situations. 36, let's not be eight yards deep. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. Third and three, let's not be ten. <clears throat> yeah, right. You know, just understand situation. I just learned from that. I think that the coaches. I think that this week the coaches have a little bit more to work with. You know, just having the first game. But I'm interested to see what they do. I'm interested to see. Um, do we run it a little bit more? I'm interested to see. Do we do a little bit more games up front with the defensive linemen? I'm interested to see in the back. I mean, fuck, do we see Sage more? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we saw the kid a couple times, and he looked fantastic. The kid looked fantastic, um, um, you know, to me. So do we see that more? Do we see a little bit more gamesmanship as down and distance and guys understand, okay, I'm getting, like you pointed out, Kev, um, picking up the flats and a little bit more pressure. With, like, I'm interested to see what they do going in the, 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 the second football game right now so we're gonna slow it down a little bit tigers so hey, listen and dude i mean kev you already know we was on conference call about i think that i think and then we're gonna get up i think this atmosphere for this game is gonna be fucking electric dog i think i think it's gonna be one of the best atmospheres that we've ever seen in tiger stadium or even outside Tiger Stadium. I hope so. I, I hope so. so. I, I really do hope so. Just for the sake of what everything you just talked about, yeah. about the Southern LSU game, for that sake, so that it actually can continue to happen. 
um i wanted to continue to bro i wanted i it, you know it it seems like something that should just happen i don't I, and I, it's I don't amazing know. that it hasn't happened i know it's the first time that we played it's i know amazing. it's amazing to me that's the first time that we've ever played at hbcu and it's yes. really amazing to me that we have one down the street we've never played one right like say so, yeah, I'm with you, bro. Like so, I, you know, I would love for this to continue, but you're right for it to go off without it. And listen, this doesn't mean no fan participation and rooting for your school and all this craziness. No. But we all know, man. Like in the time that we're living in now, and and I always say this is the thing where I'm always gonna be 100 by whatever we talk about on here. We've seen an escalation in people trying to disrupt life. Right. I'm not even going to give them no credit to say all that other, but we've seen that. And so what we're saying is let's not have all that. You know what I mean? Let's not have all that. We all have responsibilities and people we want to get home to and people we love, and that's everybody. So let's have a great time, do our thing, party, have a great time, man. Respect each other. Party some more. Party some more, <laughs> drink it up, have a good time, but respect each other, you know. And for me, it, I, long, long as we win and win convincingly, I'm cool. Now, now, Brian Kelly, don't let the thing be closed, baby. We're we'll gonna have something else to talk about now. <laughs> 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 but that Sunday conversation. That Sunday conversation. Yeah. But look, it's always good when you got that money staying in the city, staying down the street, you know, and be able to uplift that 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 less lesser than as far as money uh in the culture. So that's always good. We keep it there. Bring grambling in too. Flip you can flip out between both of them and keep it in the state if you want to. But definitely include them and definitely keep Southern coming. We got on hot topics, Jay. We got a few. You did just talk about LSU and Southern, but NFL kicks off tonight, and Odell was seen at the Bills and Rams game. Well, he well, he played for the Rams. Didn't he play for the Rams? Yeah, he played for the Rams. Yeah, he played for the Rams. But, I mean. He's a free agent he's a free right agent, now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I know you're a free agent. So, what we thinking, like, he was just there his, as a they fan? They left his locker uh, set up. Oh, well, they might be enticing him to try to bring him back, baby. You know, that boy a monster. Now, he is a superstar. Y'all forget now. The boy a superstar. Yeah. But Bonafide he, A-lister. He had to take the pay cut, though. Yeah. But he took one last year, didn't he? Mm, yeah. So, we think that, oh, this him right here? You know, the boy is a superstar now. So, are we thinking and that. And he colors on. I didn't pay attention colors. to that. Are we thinking that he would. He was there just for the game, or we I think, think they got their rings, maybe. That's yeah. why he was there. Mm. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's why he was there. The you know, ring night. I yep. ain't gonna you lie. Too. Either one, you if he gets to added to night. either one of those teams, the Rams or the Buffalo Bills, both of those teams are already contenders. Ten, ten and a half right now. You add Odell to, to that. Ten. What, what that do? Huh? Oh, 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 wait, yeah, seventeen, ten. Get him right, Ron. Buffalo just scored. Right. My dog that's got me. You know. That's a statistician. I already know he's going to get you right, baby. I think the Bills set. At receiver? Yeah, for what they want to do. I mean, you know better than me, dog. Fuck. It would be hard for me to be sitting at as Josh Allen and be like, nah, I don't want Odell, though. True. <laughs> I got you know digs, saying? too. I know. I know. And they got one, they got Ooh. another one in Young Boys that he really wow. likes. It. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I get it. I get it. And then I'm looking at what the boy did coming off that, uh, you know, just being added to the ramp. Like, dog, the boy a monster. Odell Beckham is a monster, dog. Now, these injuries, you don't know how that slow cat down. But, you know, it's, it's like his mentality – when he steps on the football field, some people and I've seen it with a couple guys that the 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 where the football field is just their release for real. That's most of us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's most of yeah. us. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you though. Like for me, it <laughs> was early, and when it got late, it still was. It's just that I had more control late, and that ain't nothing but maturity. Okay, definitely. 
Yeah, I got more control, like, but it was, it was like a rage first. ODB, I mean, I don't know. If he, I would love to see him back with the Rams, though. You're right. The Bills, I would love to see him back with the Rams. Yeah, I think he was just popping up that OJ. Like, he he was, was there for, for Biden. So, he getting his ring. I thought it was like. Hold up, y'all. They got them rings already. Yeah, they big they got did. them rings. Yeah, they got the rings already. But I still think like they announced like the championship team. Right, right. Are right, they right, first right, game? Right. Yeah. yeah. This is the season open. Yeah. Season open. Yeah. So what's the score? 17 10? Yeah. Buffalo? Yeah. What over Trey David? Why that boy bowling? Uh Jalen Ramsey getting cooked. Oh yeah, yeah. They got him on uh Diggs. Diggs a monster, like Kev pointed out though. What else we got, Jay? You saw Bronny James took a visit this week. The Ohio State. Which one is that? LeBron. The little one. The, the old oldest. one. The oh, old one. Not, okay. the, not the monster. Oh, uh, he said the old one, not the monster. Because I've been telling them, Kev, when we first got on here like three months ago, I don't even know how long ago it was. And then actually, I just had saw a little Bronny the day before. <laughs> The, like when I before I came in here, Bryce, not this one, Bryce. He looked good in that Buckeyes though. I know that made Dad tear up a little bit, you know. He wants him to go to college. He should, cause he didn't go. Right. I remember we was talking about that. Right. And, and I, I, I would too. I swear I would too. I, cause dog, just think about it. Why does Bronny have to go straight to the league? For he, what? He can't go straight to the league. But I'm just saying, if he like could, G-Lee well, you're right. He can't. But why? Why go to like any? And I'm, and this is me talking. Why go to like any of the any of the any other things beside college? <laughs> That's true. For real. Nobody. Gonna you don't need no. It. It's the thing. You don't need no money. Nobody really gonna. Them look boys at go it. to that because they need money. Because they don't want to go to school. They need money. That boy don't need no money. He's already a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? He development. I'm sure he's been with the best people since the inception of him being able to walk and damn dribble a damn basketball. You know what I'm saying? That's LeBron James's kid, and I'm because of the type. Of, I don't know LeBron, but the type of person he seems to be, he's very little like he's a, he like he on top of all that shit. And so now, if on LeBron, I'm thinking my son. I didn't go to college. LeBron had always said how he wished he would have had that opportunity to go to college. You know what I'm saying? But he had to feed his family and the stuff that he had to do. His son isn't in those positions at fucking all. You understand me? That little boy go go and develop and have a great college life like a normal kid. Well, not normal. I was about to say, nah, my man. Not normal. He's Bron's son. It'd be more than what... It was for Sharif. Who the hell is that? Shaq's son. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's way bigger than Sharif. It is, but it's like, that's probably the closest comparison. It is. You're right. You're right. My bad, Kev. I didn't fucking know. Sharif ain't play. I don't oh, know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sharif ain't play. Good. I'm just saying, Sharif ain't play. I don't, you know. Hey, Sharif played the last one, good kid. You know, now he gone somewhere else. He gone all to the business. But you're right. That's a good analogy. But even, no, nah, that's Bronny, though. Bronny definitely is more popular than Sharif. Yeah, absolutely. I was just saying that's probably like. The- it is close, though. What you mean? Mm. Mm. No, I mean, like. like in what terms, are you talking about? Look, I'm in just terms saying. Of like in terms basketball, of what are you basketball? Like basketball? talking about? I'm, I'm not talking about basketball. I'm talking about. Don't as, compare as people. Two. As two, not on the as same two level, figures. But like, yeah. They're close. No, like, they're not. Yes. Go, and then. And go then look at and Sharif then, O'Neal's and then, Instagram. And, and then. And then. Dump, dump, dump. One's in high school. One's in the pros. Yeah. No. So that's what I'm saying. Even around the same time. When they was around the same age. They're never the same age. One in high school. One in the pros. Out of the same age. Well, I'm not going to lie. You, I see what you're saying because the way that they were with like Sharif, he was getting like that same attention, that like how same Bronny attention is. that Bronny But it's getting. like LeBron that's, gonna get that's not true. It's LeBron. That's not true. But everybody knows who Shaq is. Sharif so was not Sharif. getting as much attention as Bronny James. That we, is not we true. We didn't start talking about Bronny for and then, this year. And then, uh, then, this, then listen to this. The only reason we even started talking, about, we started talking about this. Is the, this is the only plus for Sharif. We started talking about Sharif because of his play. 
We started talking about Bronny because of his dad at first and then came into it. But, dog, if you walk both of them two idiots, Bronny and Sharif, somewhere in America right now, boy, they're going to run to Bronny. They're not about to run to no Sharif. How do you know that? How I know. <laughs> Who you gonna run to? No, no. I want answer to like, my question. Who you gonna this. run to? But no. But listen, let me say. Ain't think about song? this. If you was to take them by themselves, just to a random place, mm-hmm. I think that like people know who Bronny is, but I don't think he's that recognizable like how his dad is. That's what I'm saying. Him and Sharif is pretty comparable. It's like Bronny James know that to that me is. is more recognizable than Sharif. The only way Sharif more because he's taller. That's the only reason. I'm not gonna lie. If I was somebody who didn't know about basketball, I'd probably think that they was just. But you do know. But I do. If. But I'm gonna look at it and be like, opinion. I'd it's be more excited opinion. to see LeBron's son. Listen, man, all you're doing is saying all the shit that I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> For real, <laughs> Bronny Jack, look, dog, the boy in high school. I get it. Sharif is in the pros. I get you hear me? When you go on the, the feed things, that feed things, y'all know better than me. The feeds, the, the things. How many motherfucking times have you gone on that and seen the feed things about Sharif O'Neal? How many times have you gone on there and seen the feed things about Bronny? If you oh, look in the overtime. Oh, what? If you're looking at overtime. See, I don't even know what that is. Like, okay. Or like ball is life. Stuff like that. Like they, they did do a lot of highlights. Sharif stuff. They did a lot of Sharif just, stuff. They do a lot of Bronny stuff, but like during Sharif's time, like where he is, where Bronny is now, it was a lot of stuff on ball is life. Overtime. We just. Hey. It's, that's what I'm saying. It's about equal. I don't think so. Not right but now, but. That's if, what I'm talking a, about if they now. They were the same age. If they were the same age, they're right not. Now. Y'all talking hypothetically about stuff. I'm talking about realistically what's okay. going on in okay. today's day and age right now. Okay. Y'all talking about hypothetically if he was this age and that age. No, I'm talking about right now. Right now. Right what are we talking now. about right now? Right I'm talking now. About right now. I'm no. talking about who? No. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about last year. <laughs> when I say last now, I'm talking about like last year. Right. Since we've been talking about LeBron. Bronny, well, really, Bronny and Bryce, we've been talking about. So we've been talking, so, dog, we, uh, uh, Bryce more popular than Sharif <laughs> and yeah. Bronny. Okay, yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. and that's the youngest one. Yeah, the monster. But it's because he's the youngest one, and he's doing, and because he's the monster, and he's bigger. Yeah, he's more like LeBron. But right, don't get it wrong, Bronny's crafty. Bronny's gonna be a solid player, twelve years and lead that type of thing. Or, yeah. you know, he's great. He's great. But he's not gonna do what Bryce is gonna do. I don't know. We can't predict. But Bryce is more closer to his dad, and that's what people are looking at. That's what I'm looking at. Shit. That's what they looking at. He's closer. Isn't that right? He's 15 years old. He's six six. Two what? He probably, you know, he probably ain't two yet. He probably he ain't. Y'all you know think say look, look chubby like now, one, look chubby. Yeah. Mm. Baby fat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, they're going to take all that off of him. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. We're going to agree to disagree on this. Yeah, of course. I guess. That's all. But I'm going to still say what I say, though. <laughs> 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 well, we got Jay. So you're not agreeing to disagree. No, yeah. No, I am. I'm agreeing to disagree. That's a good one that we can talk about. Um, Oh, so the Dallas Cowboys, they play Tampa Bay on Why would what, you bring Sunday? them up? Because of what Michael Parsons said about Tom Brady. He was talking about him. He was just See, like, I don't even know what he said. That's why I like to do hot topics before y'all tell me. He, 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 it wasn't up. anything bad. He didn't say oh, anything bad. He okay, was just like he saying hey, he how he was doing. excited for the game. That stuff he was doing in college. Who, Michael Parsons? What he was doing? Man. Michael nah, Parsons. It's a look. It was some. Wait, what, what you talking about? Wait, no, wait, no. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you after. Can y'all tell me what you're talking about? Okay, I don't we can talk about this on air. What I just was saying, PG. He was just talking about how like he's excited. For Is he game. crazy? No, he. Yes. Wait. I'm yeah. talking about something different. Go ahead. Okay. Tell me what you're talking about. So I don't I'm know saying what Ron talking about. He was talking about Tom Brady. He was just saying like how fierce of a competitor he is and how he's just looking forward to this game because it's like, okay, Tom Brady is six and zero against the Cowboys, but <laughs> seven. 
You know what I don't understand? You know what you know what I don't understand about that whole statement she just said, Kev? You know what I don't understand what she just said. Tell me what I don't understand what she what word did she just use, Kev? She a cowboy fan, huh? I'm from Dallas. I know, that's right. what I said. I remember that. I think I remember you saying that. So you 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 hoping that something positive happens. Kev. There's hope. Yeah, praying. I know it might not. That, young lady, that young lady just said, Tom Brady is six and no but. <laughs> But, but she said Tom Brady is six and no against the Cowboys. But that fucking butt went away in, when he was three and no. You know that when he was three and no, that butt's gone. This is true. You can have a butt for one. You can have a butt for the second in a row. But three. But by the third time, it might not get to seven. Ain't no more butts. It might not get to seven. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna Offensive. beat that up. Offensive linemen are not together. Goodness yeah. gracious, dog. She talking about some butt. We done beat her six times in a row. But you know, he done beat a lot of people six times in a row, though. Yeah. It's not just It ain't a, just the cowboy. He definitely got more rings than some yeah. franchises. I, I don't think y'all even the highest, because you know that he gotta be an AFC team that he been slaughtering for a long time. Yeah. Like the Which one you think that he had care that y'all was undefeated against? Buffalo for a minute. Yeah, but they coming too strong. <laughs> but not against him, though. He ain't there. They coming too strong. Not to even mention they ain't. I know, I know. <laughs> but, but for a minute. John yeah, was yeah for, a, for a minute. Can't say. Miami. Uh, no, can't say Miami. I mean, except we, for in, when we because went we there. Because we can't go there. When we, we went can't go there. there and win, so that's but, not undefeated. Oh, no. I guess that's once a year. Uh, mm. I can't say the Jets. Bobby Wagner. Got to say. I'm just following the game over here. Okay, good job. There we go. What's still saying? I'm following the game. Got a, st- a sec. Hmm. But yeah, that's not a. That's not a. What are they doing? Who? The Cowboys. Against who? Jimmy. Yeah. Like you. Against who? The, you trying to be funny? Like Bay? I'm being serious. Like you're being funny and I'm being serious. I'm being serious too. It's the first game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. We just seen. Anything no, can happen. My point is, it's the first game of the year. It it's doesn't not really, really matter. matter. It's not going to matter. That's but my it's gonna point. matter to me. But it matters a lot <laughs> more to the Cowboys than oh. Tampa. Oh, yeah. That's what you sure. do know. I'm not going to let it go. That's like, who did it matter more to, FSU or LSU? Yeah. I think it mattered more to I, I think it personally should have mattered more to us. They said that they're back now because who? they beat us. Florida State. Boy, uh, boy. <laughs> we, watch, we all watched the same game. <laughs> If that's the case, we got a long way to go. And they, they feel like they're back, back. We got a long way to go. Yeah, we got a little minute. <laughs> taking uh, a, we taking the long way home so tonight. Uh. State, we taking that long ride, boys. Yeah, long <laughs> ride. The Florida State said they back. Hey, who's, who's if the Cowboys be? beat uh, Tom, or Tom, Tampa Bay. I'd be happy, but I honestly wouldn't care. Like, like you said, it's the first game. It is. The first I'd be happy, game. but it'd be different if it was like the sixth game. Like, you know. And the thing is, man, I, and you know, fuck, you know, we've been, I've been privy to play for some good coaches, and you know, I don't know how much weight a coach that's been in it, like Bill. And these guys put into the first game. Those guys, I mean, I'm not saying they don't want to win, they do. But I know just from being in New England and being in other places where there's a difference, Springer, Arizona, um, you get built for like four game increments. You know what I'm saying? To get built, and then you built, and you built, and then you hit that stride. It's just like when we were, when you prepare for like the draft. Are you prepared to run at 40? You want to peak at the right time. You don't want to peak too early or peak too late. And I think that's, you know, when you see, a lot of times when you see these teams and they go on these 4 no starts and stuff like that, and they peak so early out the gate and then freaking they end up 4-12 and 12 or whatever it may be. But I think that just a steady climb and continuing climb. I, which I is, think I still want to have a fast start. You you rather a fast start? I rather a fast start, um, and just preach consistency. Well, I and I agree with I just, that. I hope the Cowboys don't make me mad. Like, 
as long that like the fast start to me, I fuck yeah, I'd rather start how fast long, than how win. Long you been hoping that? Ever. Since the time she was born. Only reason why I'm messing with you because I was a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'll never switch. For a bit. oh, I had to switch though. I'll I never got change. drafted. <laughs> That's true. I'll, I'll never change. I like other teams or like other players, but like I'm a Cowboys fan at the end of the day. Like I like I like the Saints. I'll say that I like the Saints, but I'm a Cowboys fan. Pure See, I Cowboys like the Saints fan. and I like Period. Cowboys. They whatever. The Cowboys are literally like the last team that I would be like a real fan of. The Cowboys, the but Falcons. why? What's the reason? For me, it's because the Falcons. that's what it's supposed to be. It's the Falcons, why? but the Cowboys they not far. Like yeah. they down there, but it's not. They but not why? Number one. Why? I feel like I why is it the Falcons? Because that's that's the Saints' biggest rival. That's how I feel about because of the Eagles. division. Yeah, like oh, yeah. they were the only two teams in the South for a while. So Cowboys and Eagles do hate. I each felt other. that about the Eagles, yeah. but no, yeah. I don't hate the Saints. Like y'all hate the Cowboys. Like the Cowboys and Giants hate each other too. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, don't like them. And Washington. Don't like and them. Washington. Don't like yeah, them. like y'all three division teams. Like y'all hate. No, all and you lie, don't like, even know why. You're too young to even know why you <laughs> don't like them. I know why I don't like the Eagles. You know, you're wow. too young I I don't like the for the robbery or the, or, the, or, the, or the Redskins. Yeah, I'm too young for that. That's the what I'm saying. Skins. You don't I even just know why. I always knowing we don't like Doug Way. Right. But I, I know why we don't and like And it's so crazy because like that's, that's, like, that's how gangs are. Yeah. Real shit. Because like we don't like them. Yeah. Why that's don't why, you like them? That's why you don't like the Cowboys. Don't bang with them boys. That's I don't, why you don't know. Like the you better not be on his side. Right. But That's why people don't like the Cowboys. Well, I felt like that kid when I came here, the LSU. Like no nobody liked Texas A and M, and I never had anything against Texas. You know? And I was like, man, why the fuck we don't like Texas? Why well, got Texas A and M? You must. I'm like, why don't we like Texas A and M? Why doesn't LSU like Texas A and M? But I never knew we played them so much. Right. Like I never knew that. So that's what Back I'm saying. Like day. until I yeah. So until I learned the history, and it's the same thing with these motherfuckers that be gang banging and doing. You don't like this, you don't like it. Learn why you standing against it. But I think people don't like the Cowboys because it's cool. They just be trying to fit in. Like, I feel like some people don't have a genuine uh, reason why. Like, uh, some people just wake up and hate the Cowboys. Why? I don't think that's true. <laughs> I I really do. I think that do. the people that don't like the Cowboys have a reason why they don't like them. Nah. I don't think you just wake up and say, I don't like the Cowboys. No. Nah. Who, me? He woke up and just didn't like the nah, Cowboys. I just, it's a, but it's I a lot of people. I never liked the Cowboys. Right. So. But why? Because I just. Because they, why? they always on TV. It's like. It sounds like hating to me. No, look. It, it sounds I mean, like look, hating to me. It, I'm growing up. When I was growing up, the Cowboys weren't good. So they was always on TV. It exactly. wasn't good football. And they didn't want to put the Saints on TV because the Saints wasn't I'm good. Like it's hating. So it's like, so you just, like I don't have nothing. Why I got to watch this bad football? Why I can't watch the team in my state that's bad at football? I don't like Cowboys because of fucking Jerry Jones. Yeah, and that's, and that's, and that's like completely Cowboys. understandable. I and can agree with that. I was a Jimmy Johnson fan because I was a Miami Hurricanes fan. And when Jimmy Johnson went to the Dallas Cowboys, I thought the Dallas Cowboys were gonna be the best shit to slice bread, and they were until they Jerry were. Jones got interjected in it. And then I also liked Jimmy Johnson because he was a fan of Cecil Collins, and I was a fan of Cecil Collins. So I like, and I'm a Jimmy Johnson fan, Miami. So. That's why I like the Cowboys, and that's why I don't like the Cowboys. But I can't Two. lie. As sad as it sounds, I think I've seen like one really good season from the Cowboys in my lifetime. So and that begs the question: Why the hell are you a Cowboys fan? <laughs> and I'm fine with that. If you seen, how old are you? Twenty. Be right. And sad. you've only seen one season that you one can remember. Season. Let's say you've I've been remembering since you was five. The my one that early... I remember vividly was. The year that they said that Dez didn't catch that, and they came back and said he did. That if he if they said that he would caught that, yeah, but listen, if like they said he would have caught that, we were going to win the whole thing. And I'm confident in that statement. Hey, that's all the Cowboys fans right there. <laughs> Dez caught it. Yeah. No, I'm Dez not so caught it. It was a catch. Like, <laughs> it was a damn catch. But I feel like it's true. It's so Read true. Redefine a catch. It's so true. Look it up in the rule book. And I'm sick about it to this day. I don't know why, because it was ruled not a catch and should have been but over if with. it was, 13 years you went ago. In the whole thing. That's like the tuck rule. You went in the whole wow. thing. <laughs> you hear this, Cal? 
in the I'm looking at it. I, I feel you. She hurt. I feel hurt your pain. Dog. I'm glad I got rescued in 1999. That's like hey, I'll Kel, never be rescued. Kel, that's like the Raiders fans in the tuck rule with Tom, Ooh, huh? Yeah. I'll never be yeah, okay. Yeah. It's and it's that that's all right. Yeah, you be all right though. I'm gonna stick yeah. beside. Yeah, you'll live. Yeah. You know, you've been living time. this long mm-hmm. with with the mm-hmm. Cowboys being as bad as they are. So yeah. Look. And if 2015, you say the season that you thought was 2016, right. 17. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Kale. That's what I'm trying to tell you, the little I, young I, I, buck. I don't, I don't know how you say Dallas Cowboys your team of 2015 that season. Child, that you <laughs> Dallas Cowboys her daddy team. Man, cause. She I seen she got Cowboy. grandfathered into the thing, <laughs> but I don't like her. <laughs> so she got birthed into she that thing. She got birthed into I, that I don't watch thing. every other team with him, and I I just like the Cowboys. Dog. And then we used like Cam said, if you if you go back to 2015, and that's your early recollection. Well, I mean, you can't have it because you're young, but still. <laughs> and it's yeah, but like I think I always liked them because everything they do is very family oriented. Like they have so much stuff for the community, so it's like that's why I like them as a franchise, honestly. And then as a team, I mean they cool, but they do a lot. I graduated at the star. They do a lot. So, so winning has nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we we're not we're, hey, we're not bringing winning to the equation at all. Yeah, you got to win. The cow listen, the Cowboys, listen. The Cowboys fans and when I first got here, Saints fans were like some of the most loyal people ever, dude. Because those two franchises have given their fans to me like some really down times. Down. <laughs> Wait, who? The Saints. The Saints. Chill out. Who the other team? The Cowboys. Cowboys. <laughs> they got five Super Bowls. Yeah, I know, but that was all early, Ron. Nah. Yeah, Ron. They, 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 was Ron. they don't have, have anything late. early. They, it's all like I, I know they have some late, late, early success I feel like with Detroit Eight Man. Like, but that, man. <laughs> no, you can't live off that. Okay, but like compared to as a Saints, listen, as a no, you're right. To what the Saints had, you're the right. They don't have any. Saints ain't even get but nine. That don't mean y'all still don't have loyal fans. You, I'm talking about like I the mean, hardships of teams. We another one before y'all. Like, y'all got five rings. We got one, and that was like after like all. Hey, kind of listen, stuff. we're not gonna we're not gonna debate. Who's had it the hardest? But we get another. We one talking Saints. about who recently? <laughs> we get another That's one for the Saints. Saints. Again. <laughs> recently, the Fra- the Saints have been better than the Cowboys, in my opinion. Recently, if you go on recent, six. who has the recent? Who has even been the most recent success? Super Bowl, all that. Yeah, the true. Saints are ahead of the Dallas Cowboys. But the Cowboys modern, gonna get one. Before they're they still. Do. America's whatever darling bullshit that you got <laughs> the, the most one money. In the, in yeah, y'all got the most yeah. money. You want to hang your head on that? That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't care about winning, no championships and stuff. That's fine. I mean, you know, I thought it was you know wins and all that. I but don't care. Okay. I'm gonna have a good time. If you want to have a great community and have guys doing great community service, and you know we big up in hospitals and stuff like that, but y'all not bringing no winning or nothing to the franchise. That's okay. We all have different standards that we want to live by. That's fine. <laughs> you know, over here in New Orleans and the Saints, they're held by a different standards, and that is winning Super Bowls. You, but I who think says we'll that win. you can't win a Super Bowl and also be good in the community? I think they will win another one before the Saints do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't care. That is also possibly a false because <laughs> Jerry Jones is still the owner. Last time I He's checked, still alive. I mean, y'all might get Sean P next year. He's still alive. Jerry Jones it's still alive. It's a curse. It's a thunder. It is no, no, it was not. That was the chair. I was about to say, boy, you right. No. <laughs> so, curse, Mother you. Nature is something else these days, boy. <laughs> Mother Nature is something else, Kel. Shucks. Huh? What else you got? That's it? What you got? The breaking news of the day was that uh, the Laugh Clemson one. head coach signed a 10 Day year. Day Yeah. Signed what? A 10-year, $115 million contract Lord extension through 2031, which makes him the second highest paid coach behind Nick Saban. Well, that'll be changed very shortly. No, he's the second highest paid. Did they make it the highest? Cause he's they not, knew Nick like was he's gonna, right after Nick. Yeah, you, they knew Nick was going uh, one up. <laughs> They're never so, going to pay him more so, than Nick. So they say, you know what? <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. Even if you go above him, he's going to get above you. Because <laughs> so, you know that's what it is. Saber got the shit. You got to be the highest paid coach. So if we let's not even play with this. Let's not even go above him. 
So we gotta do some bullshit. All right. Right here. How many do you have? How many does he have? Debo got what? One? We got two. Yeah, he beat he beat he beat Bama twice. Let's say we got seven. Yeah. See? Seven. Lord Jesus Christ. He beat Bama twice. Yeah. He beat him with he beat him with Deshaun Watson one time. And then he beat him with Trevor Long. Well, yeah, he beat him. With, ain't beat him with no Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, Long. he beat him with Trevor Lawrence his freshman season. For the chip? For the chip. Trevor Lawrence don't they got picked, two. They picked two off. Look that up, Ron. They picked two off in the first in the first drive. AJ hey, Terrell did. Pick so, six. So Clemson got both of their chips off of Bama? Off of Bama. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just remember Deshaun Watson. Hey, I, ain't, I ain't even going to lie, dog. That shit would tear my ass up right there. If I was Saber, uh -huh. me knowing him, that burns a hole in my goddamn, in my in my bell brand, boy. That <laughs> my burns a hole in my bell brand right there, kill. Ooh, I ain't even know that. That's a good yeah. stat right there. I see you. So they gave that boy 115? 115. Going against Nick Saban. <laughs> I mean, 2-0 against Nick Saban, 0-1 against uh. <laughs> now, does that make any goddamn sense? Does that make any goddamn sense? <laughs> it does. Hey, hey, it does. I know that. You know Nick who the Saban man is? Too. Nick Saban. Yes. After hearing Cam just say that, he the maddest. He the maddest. <laughs> that put it in so much perspective. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what happened when you didn't inherit a good team. He got, hey man, shout out to Les Miles. <laughs> shout out to Les Miles. You right? You right? That's what the fuck happened. Um, well, you seen what Coach O said? Mm hmm. What, they talking about when they said that, that he gave him a 17 million? Where do I sign? Some shit like yeah, that? What do you want me to walk out of? <laughs> <laughs> Man, is it how when you want me to leave? What do you want me to walk out of? Is he wrong though? No, he's just being honest a hundred percent. And you know what's he's so crazy? Honest. He said that from the beginning. I remember when he was walking out the press conference, come on, baby, we out. And they asked him, Is the boys coming? With? Oh, no, just me and my baby <laughs> going to the beach. Hey, one thing he say about oh. Oh, going to make it do what it do, baby. Yeah. And he's enjoying. Coach uh, <laughs> O don't care. Coach O don't give a damn about coaching no more. Nah, he don't. He don't. He said it, he said it in that thing. Like, Coach O like, listen, y'all could pay me for doing these little bullshit speaking engagements and all this. I got 17 million. To chill with. But Coach O don't care about nothing. He ain't about to go. To the south of France and live all there. My boy going out chill on the bayou, go to California. You know what I'm saying? Miami. Hey, but he said it best. Some coaches coach 10 years, don't win nothing. He got six, he got a Marine. And 17 million. In the biz act. That's all you the so Brinks truck. Pull it up. Brinks truck. Pull Shout out to Cole O, man. Shout out <laughs> to Cole O. Shout out to Baby. Shout out to Baby. <laughs> Shout out to Baby, man. That is how you feel. Hey, you know what Cole O told that boy? We take him down that little fish hole and drop him off in there? I believe him. Yeah. Definitely. You think I don't believe sure. him? That's some swamp to back there. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I believe him. Look, you go back there. You might not it's come back. It's dangerous back there. I'm not going <laughs> back there. I went back there for my daughter uh, basketball playoff game one night. Boy, I was scared as a mother. You gotta have that strap. That's all they got is water out there. Water Jeez. and gators just right. sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> Them gators. Louisiana. Hey, I think we got a fixture in the house. Hey, we're gonna be back. Next week, after this incredible weekend with SU, LSU, we all going to be out there. We all going to be a part of it. We're going to have a bunch of footage, first time ever. It's a hardly ever you'd be a part of something first time ever. So, very historic, historic uh, time coming up this weekend. And we getting prepared for it. Everybody act accordingly, man. Have a great time. Turn the fuck up. Have a great time. Eat good. Hey, we, Kel, you already know it's going down, boy. Man. It's going down. We're going to be out there. Indian Mile, my whole crew, everybody invited. Y'all come out there. Listen. Party. Party, party. Chef Ty Fraser. B-Y-O-B. Bring your own bottle. Chachi coming. 
Little, Chat, little who coming? Come. Little brother coming. Little brother coming. We going what that boy? That boy bringing all the the the, the ox tails and nah, the, the stew a, meat. He, he cooking sauce pack. Sauce pack. We got the jerk chicken. We got the jerk chicken jambalaya. Oh. We got the jerk chicken sliders with the coleslaw on top. I'm supposed to be working, but I don't think I'm. We got the working. fried shrimp, the fried <laughs> oyster, like gotta, the fried wings. <laughs> we got the we got the we got the bar meat. The weekend, bar meat. meat without the grease, bar meat without the, the grease, pasta, yeah. liar. pasta liar, yeah, jambalaya, yeah. chef freaking T coming to the building. We got the smoked ribs out there that we we got out. Oh lord, 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 lord! Y'all come out there and check us out, man. We're gonna be at the Indian Mound, great time this weekend. SU, LSU, everybody come in. We're gonna have a fantastic time with my dogs. That we're gonna be out on the proud all weekend. Kevin the kennel all year. Y'all catch my dog here all year. Y'all see it? Iconic, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my little cousin Langston for the. For the gear that's like oh i need that langston baby i need that iconic too we need the whole gear langston y'all see it iconic we got some way you could buy that care yeah he got a website what's the name of it oh iconic iconic.com y'all go get it <laughs> for me Stu, opz j the big homie the legend k feezy my dog we're gonna be back next week, man, after this epic weekend of Ho Ho Ho! Where my dogs at? We'll be back next week. OP, me and OP out there all, all game day, too. Me and OP out there. Y'all look for me and OP. Y'all see it. I gotta keep those girls off of OP, though. <laughs> for real, you know, OP, I don't know I what be, it I is, dog. Now nah, you don't be chilling. Yes, I do. I be, look. It's that took, yellow shit I in took, the in the dreads, <laughs> and he just be chilling. Like that one? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs>